She has big normals. She has a command grab. She flies across the screen like um, she has beast cannons. She has big tornadoes. Can, can kind of be hard to fight, but uh, someone like Big Black should be used to like, oh, I've seen Mika before. I'm not going to get any kind of uh, curveball here that I'm not used to. Yeah, exactly. So if you're not used to the character, right, she's just running at you with all the rockets. It's like, oh, what is a man to do? But of course, Big Black taking the time to understand, but does get caught out with the rocket on the other side. All right, gets a small knockdown. Big Black in the corner doesn't take the grab, but that's okay. He still has a cycle, doesn't take the next one. All right, there's a CS. Doesn't have a to get a reversal, but she's going to down back. Hopefully get this cycle. No, Green Shield lifts. Lose some grid and eats another throw. There we go, 100 meter for Fajita Ida off of the CS. Should be able to kill here going into the next round with almost 200 in the bank. Yeah, so that last instance, Assault Jump B from Mika. Assault Jump B Chain Shift lets her kind of like uh, catch you off guard because you can't stand up real quickly. But Big Black, classic walk back to B, gets a full confirm. Gonna push to the corner. Let's see if this decides to spin any meter or not. Oh, there's two. One more. Kind of delayed, but it's still okay. Ooh, run up assault, bait out the throw tech once again. Should have more than enough meter to set up another set of webs. Ooh, overhead. All right, so I'm not sure if he's going to commit to using all his meter to get the W here, but uh, it is Yumi. You get meter pretty quickly. You might only have to spend one. Feel? Yep. Make sure. IW. Nice and easy. Keep it clean. Seen it before. Just, you know, spend all the 200 like you said. The meter... Comes back pretty quick, especially in Uni 2, so all good to make sure that you're sealing out that round now. Round number three. Ooh. And that's a uh, dash B from Yaki is really strong because a lot of people like to walk backwards around start. And because it's a far reaching load that advances, you can get caught up. But unfortunately, Big Black gets hit by Dropkick. Full confirm into the corner. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Try, to, try to press after teching in mid screen. Yeah, cycle so much in Fajita's favor as well. Just run up for the corner. We'll delay on the strike, didn't full confirm. Right, chain shift. Oh, tries to stand tech, doesn't get punished for it. Mashes two lane on the way down. Side swap incoming. He might not spend any meter, but he'll get 25. Yep, he gets 25 back for spending 100 because of Warpool. Yep. Oh, Warpool refund so huge. Should build up another by the end of this combo as well. Stuck in the corner. Fahidita has the 100 meter in tow. Could look for a VL or any other wide. Way to escape, but still caught out with Dash BCS. Wait. Oh, he's not dead. Oh god. All right, one more chance. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Ah, oh, the dash of 5A, probably catching Fajita Ida, probably trying to press throw or something. But that last interaction, it looked like Big Black wasn't sure if he needed to spend meter before he went for the web set low because he has web set delay low and web set delay overhead. So if you're not really familiar with Byakuya, when he sets a web, he can actually perform another action if he charges it. And you actually have to be careful because it does lead into a full combo because you get hit by the web. And it's a little jarring. But Mika is one of those characters who can kind of just fly out due to her speedy moves and how fast she is. Yeah, lots of mobility and definitely leveraging it. Round start again, just uh, using the rocket to get right in Big Black's face. Stuck in corner once again. Hey, there's the grid break. Big Black trying to shield for the cycle. Stand tech gets blown up. There we go. Finds the jump out. Still lots of health to try and make up here. Down on the meter as well. This is going to be an uphill battle. All right. Decides to set a web. Gets hit by Tornado. Hey. And there we go. Fihita gets the confirm using 100. So now going into round two. Big Black walks back. Tries to press the button. Gets hit by another Tornado Beast Cannon. Oops. Patching on through, solid on the cycle as well. Still got a decent amount of time, but we run up for the counter hit throw. All right, there's a clean shield. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. tries to swing, gets hit by Tornado. Full confirm. Very nice. All right, big lock on his last legs here. Still got CS waiting it out, trying to see if Big Black is bashing a shield. Any defensive option, but no, just holding down back. Hey, let's take the grab. Last chance incoming. Pulls down back for the 2A. There's the Beast Cannon once again. Ooh, Ooh. Immediate tag. Chain shift. Yeah, there we go. Invincible reversal. Gets a knockdown, but has to still manage to make this comeback. Gonna be a little hard. Okay, 3D back out to the mid-screen here. Doesn't technical throw. Ooh, long wait. Tornado chain shift. Ooh. Tech those. Oh, stand tech gets assaulted over. All right, it's time to go. 
Whoa, oh, but it was a setup. The the web with the web setup into the falling jump B hits Mika for trying to press 5A, and that should be the round. Yep, CS, IW, yep. and gain the meter because uh, when you go into IW and chain shift, you gain meter from uh, the animation afterwards, and you just yep. kind of like wait wait for it to transfer over. Exactly, yeah. You have the whole animation for that transfer state, so the full 100 going into this potential last round for top 8 qualifiers here. There we go, 2-2-C brings us all the way over to the corner off that dash once again. Alright, gonna get a knockdown, set up a web. He doesn't have, he doesn't have any extra meters to use. Whoa, not ready to tech that grab into the web. Not gonna do a whole lot of damage, but it's giving Big Black the ability to secure the next cycle, probably. Whew. Big silver head. This green shield throws the green shield. shield. Yep. Mm -hmm. we break into the web once again. All right. Don't have any good to tell us that no one wins the cycle, but still so much meter behind it. I gotta guess for game off the triple web. Bash up throw, gets tacked, all the webs are gone. Now you have to try to manage to get out the corner. Big Black has no meter. Oh, hop back charge MC. That's very good for people trying to dash up A, 5A, you dash up throw. Mm -hmm. All right, wins the cycle, 200 meter in tow, but still a decent amount of health to make your way through. And Big Black has 100 meter for the reversal as well. There's the 360 into chain shift to get a full confirm. This does a lot of damage for Mika. All right, gets one more opportunity. A, B, under. Ugh. Oh, and there's the fuzzy 5A. Big Black really adept in being able to manage to press 5A whenever he feels there's a gap in your pressure. Orthodox is the best way to put it. Okay. So he, he he tries to forego blocking as much as he can, but because of that, it makes it hard to pin him down. Ooh, but a character like Kuon could probably do that a lot easier due to needles and pillars. I see, I see. Keep you locked down here. Now block string brings you over to the corner. Jump back geyser, or jump back uh, fireball rather. Ooh, and there's the geyser chain shift confirmed from Luffle. Doing pretty well so far. Kuon does have the lowest health in the game, so two big touches usually means the end for him. But Masoma gets an anti-air shield, He's probably going to push from mid screen to corner, also might spend 100 meter. Gets a 25 refund as well. Gets a knockdown. Time to pull up. Ooh, floating to the empty low. So scary. Is it reactable? Maybe technically, but it's so difficult in the heat of the moment. Now, the 100 meter in tow. Do we spend it to try and kill? Oh no. All right. Luffle has a chance. He's not going to have the cycle for this, but 200 meter for Phonon is usually very scary. 40 seconds on the clock, you got a decent amount of time, but gets caught out on the jump with the needle. Pillar follow-up, puts the first round here for Masoma. Oh, there's slide going right through Geyser for Phonon. Kuan's gonna pull corner carry. He doesn't have any more meters, so you don't have to hold the dreaded Floatoki. But yeah. in uh, Kuan, stagger pressure is still pretty scary. Just like right there, the walk back 2B counter hit, full confirming coming. Pick up. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we just stayed in the air for so long. Maybe trying to wait out a shield or a throw it, but still, either way, Luffle going to get caught out here. Game number one to Masoma. Yeah, you can see Luffle tried to mash there at that last instance, but he got tied yeah. slightly. So he's just like, all right, may maybe I can mash here, but it's just kind of like a false sense of security when Kuan hovers at you like that. He's waiting to see how you respond. Maybe he'll do the teleport slide. Maybe he'll do the double the instant double overhead setup where you get mashed on, you get counter yeah. hit, you know, it spells doom. It's it's really hard to block him in that instance, but building recognition versus Kwan is very important. Exactly. Alrighty, game number two. Let's see if Luffle can uh, swap up the story here. Oh, immediately just walking up into the double pillar. Alright, just dash pushing in the corner. Ooh, shield up back, but gets contested right away. Masoma shields, gets the anti-air punish. Probably spend another 100 meter, get 25 of that back, thank you for the Yep, set the disc, 3D on the other side, ready for it, Masoma catches you out. Screen once again, so healthy on the cycle, about to build 100, but gets caught out. Air Fireball with the counter hit is a full confirm for Luffle. All right, he should get the cycle, drops the combo, but he still has decent position. Chain shift to not get punished for that geyser. Now, ooh, a, yep, there's an A flash kick into EX disc, and then gets clipped on the way down afterwards. Luffle trying to force his turn back, it's counter hit instead. Mm -hmm. Range, of course, EX cancelable as well. Trades the invul for it, but you know, it's it's such a big uh, flash kick. You get so much out of it, but now, BDP to bring you back out to the full screen, catches out the shield. 
Waffle not doing too bad so far. He hasn't, uh, as I say, that he gets clipped by <laughs> Pillar, laser into Pillar, full confirm from Asoma. Doesn't have any meter to spend, but yup, gets the mix up there, goes low. Waffle not dead, he gets one more interaction. Toe, but it's still so skilled. Oh, yes, behind him for the double EX. The double disc seals out the winner's side. Top eight spot here for Masoma 2 -0. Really strong. So a lot of people think Kuan is easily one of the strongest characters in the game. So if you think that, you might as well just put it into practice, right? Yeah, there we go. Practicing for game number one here. We got the Morrigan color palette for Kuan. Gradually pushing you over to the corner. You tried to slash on through, but still Defiant catches you out with the needle. Does drop and the TP puts your back against the wall. Uh, but the the drop combo into the second hit of Rekka gets Toast a good bit of damage. Defiant just trying to use, you know, lasers to push out. But Toast right back in there uses Chain Shift. It's gonna lose the cycle, but has a good life lead. Just trying to keep Defiant mid screen, not getting hit by any lasers, slides. Hey, it's a counter hit 2B as well. We get into the corner once again. Close on the cycle, but should be able to seal it out here for Toast. Stall out. No! Oh, yep, okay. there's the uh, A flash kick into the EX pinwheel once again. Ah. All right, back to mid-screen. Uses the chain shift again to stay in. Defiant is holding down back. Any, any small combo still does enough. Oh, Defiant didn't mash on that, but it's okay. Woo! EX needle into the pickup. Still shouldn't be able to kill here, but you do have CS for some extra meter. Oh, oh, oh that back dash got tagged by the dash up 2B from Defiant. Very nice. Right, first round to Deppy, run up with the overhead, but still caught out by Toast. 200 meter in tow to try and bring this round back. Uh-oh. Alright, 5 ace dagger pressure. Toast doing pretty well so far, trying to win the cycle. There's a flash kick from Deppy. Yep. Alright, with the cycle, CS available off the air needle. Set the disc, overhead. No, just do it again! Toast with the throw whip! Should bring you all the way over to the other side. All right, no meter for Duffy to get a proper knockdown there, but just gonna be annoying with float laser. And there's the license slide after the teleport. Yep. Uh, ooh, grid cancel, oh. keep you in the corner. Yeah, just cool on big normal, making sure you can't get out <laughs> safely. Ooh, trying to approach on the ground. That's a big drop from Deppy here. So Toast fights back out with the counter hit to a 200 meter behind. No. Okay. We'll call it a setup for the 100 meter, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Defiant not dead yet. All right, holds down back, not doing any flash kick, blocks the overhead, chain shift to stay safe. There we go, forward throw in the corner. Right, go, Thrown up against the wall. Pretty even on the meter situation going into round number three. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of shielding. Duffy's trying to win this next cycle. And the dash of 2B. All right, full confirming the corner incoming. There we go. Seals out the cycle handily. That's a lot of extra meter for when you decide to chain shift. Oh, but 3D once again just rolls you back out on back out of the corner defiant. Not ready to catch off the float. Alright, small lockdown. Delay wake up from Defiant, trying to shield, and make sure they get the next cycle. Till spending meter to keep stay safe. Throw tech. Throw. Pinwheel doesn't see any grid thrust or DP. Green shield, thank oh. you very much. Grid break. Trying to hold the pressure. Go. Doesn't have to worry about greeting the blade in the float stance here. Should still be able to seal it out, I say, but Toast gets the grid back. All right, there we go. Just in the nick of time to be able to have CS, but still stuck in the corner against Defiant. Ah, uh, tries a high shield and goes and definitely goes low with a 2B. Grid crush, drops a combo, but dash of 5A. Yep, stops Toast from trying to do tech buttons. Mm -hmm. All right, game one over to Deppy. We saw so many overheads off of the float, so Toast saying, all right, surely you'll do one more. Caught out with the grid break for the kill. Now we're heading into game number two. All right, so Deffy had a little flubs here and there, but you, you yeah. know they brought it back. Uh, it's it's about being, uh, you have to be calm, make sure if uh, unfortunate things happen, you know what you have to do. Stick to the game plan. Get When you get the knockdown, run your pressure. Make sure you not don't get too tilted. Mm -hmm. There we go, but ran straight into the needle. Once again, counter hit off of the round starts. Hippo saying, free me from the Izanami ass character. I, you know, that's a comparison of all time. I see it with the float. Oh, and I see the punish gear just staying right out of range. Toast tries to match on through, but Defiant, perfect with the spacing. No, my fault. Oh, huh? Yeah, dropped the flash kick uh, ender, but then got the backdash to catch the rollout. Toast is now stuck in the corner, gets hit by two FF. Oh, there's the A flash kick into the X. Pinwheel again, chain shift once again, more pinwheels coming through. Man, that's so hard to block the delay double overhead. Yeah. 
It's scary, right? You know, ratio-wise or like, you know, percentage-wise, we're blocking a decent amount of the attempts at the float mix-ups, but again, so many times Deathy is just able to go into another float, not contested until you're able to get frame trapped. And now we throw out the EX projectile for some more plus frames. And there's the 2B counter poke from Deffy. Oh, Ooh. drop combo, but it's alright. Toast gets gets the turn back. Flash is gonna get big punish, 5C starter. Should push all the way. Spend some meter to be safe now. He's gonna get the wreck and knockdown. Yep, CS just holding the down back, says, all right, you got the cycle, but I have the run up to a counter hit here. All right, spends meter to push. Oh, gets hit by 2-2-B. All right, gonna find yourself in the corner here, Deffy, but let's see if you decide to, yep, hover out, surrender your cycle. Hey! Twice, set up the disc right in between, see what Toast is trying to do here, caught out Ooh. with the laser. Yeah, that's uh, a very important tool in Hyde's arsenal, being able to spend 100 meter when he does orbit it to do a full screen laser, you get a snipe like that, but yep. instead gets clipped, Toast is going to find themselves back in the corner. Deffy doesn't spend any meter, gets a forward throw. Going to try to win this cycle without giving Toast an ability to shield anything. Oi, there we go. Yeah, the staggers there, right? You know, a couple of well-placed shields would have been able to steal the cycle back, so Deffy is putting in that delay. Now it's float mix. Sees the green shield, still goes for another float. Toast applying pressure. They're gonna lose the cycle because they're giving Define a chance to shield a lot of that. Laser chain shift. Is that gonna be the game? Yes, it is. Very nice, Deffy. All right, Deffy on the Kuon, feeling confident going into the hide and feeling confident going into winner's side top eight. That Deffy was gonna rep it, but we do have the Carmine now. You know, one of these characters that, you know, got a few new tools, nothing too crazy going into this version, but feeling a lot better about the consistency of getting these setups. Yes, uh, a lot of Carmine's strengths come from the fact that his 6B is faster, <laughs> a little bit more damage, able to keep people locked down in the corner. As you'll see once, yep, there's the Blood Prison, double bomb setup. And the bombs are a way to dissuade people from pressing buttons, from trying to throw you up on Carmine's pressure. But you have to keep track of the bombs. There's one more left. All right, all the bombs are gone. And I'm now just trying to get out of this corner, but Calamity uses the chain shift to stay in. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, just holding down back. Waiting for meter. You got the Celestial as well. There we go. Jump on through for the tick throw. All right, chain shift. Spend some meter. Gotta get some meter back because you were... You are in uh, Celestial. Ooh, overhead attack Ooh. gets gets swiped down once again. Oh, and Calamity just trying to bust out once again, but gets clipped by 5C for the round for Tennyson. Yeah, what did we see on the EX from DFA uh, Calamity? I think it was an attempt at the EX Blood Rain. I'm not too sure, but we did see the attempt at the shield run off of the grid break throw. Oh, with the assault, but still DFA fighting on through. Ooh, drops a small drop, but it's okay. You get the knockdown. You don't win the cycle because you grid broke him, but you're okay with that because you're Carmine, your opponent's in the corner. Up, oh, ES Command Grab gets baited, but Tannison's okay with that. Doesn't need a full combo. Just trying to stay safe mid screen. Doesn't want to, you know, eat another clean hit from Calamity. Ooh. Yep, CS hey. available. Didn't even need to use it. We used the 360C, and now we're flipping all the way back out to mid screen. Yep. Decides to spend the chain shift there to get a full combo. Drops it, but still keeps pressure. Well, yep. really scary because even though his walk speed is slow, he's still allowed to assault forward like everybody else in the cast. Oh, there's Ooh. the 2C confirm. Hey, very nice. There you go. Swiped on through. Snapped out of the skies. Tannison takes that first game. All right. Uh, Calamity might be switching to Mika because I do know him as a Mika player. Oh, no, he's going to stick to Carmine. He did play Mika in... Uh, ST and I believe in most of clear. Okay. So this might be one of those things where he probably picked up Carmine and was just like, yeah, I'm going to try this out and see how it is. I also believe he is a Soul Cal resident, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think I see him over on the, you know, West Coast events as well. I know him from Idol Showdown, but Anderson knows that we can just pull up with the assault and immediately get our turn started off of the round start once again, ending with the steer ender. Yep, AB under to get some grid, and there's the A bus at three frames, so anything that's like minus three gets, mm -hmm. minus three, minus four, it gets punished really easily. Another A buster. Oh god, Woo! MC cross up. We tech those. But there's a chain shift, have to be careful. <laughs> and there's the classic uni down back, like, I do something. It's like, I don't want to give up my space. Oh, 2C trace of bomb. Tannison should get this round. There we go, nice and easy. There we go, seals it out. Didn't want to give up the space, didn't want to give up the cycle, but did end up giving up the round. Now it's set point for Tennyson. Ooh, oh, lingering for the lingering B, hit yeah. Yep. Yeah, be careful when you fight that. There's a charge 6B. 
Calamity is like, he, uh, as a Karma, you're okay with losing some HP because honestly, you're losing HP when you do special moves anyway, so nothing new. Ooh, back throw. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of these whiff jump ins off of the assault as well, so Gip A just taking the opportunity to fight back 200 meter in tow. Ooh, small drop, but it's okay. You still keep corner presence. Mm -hmm. Hey, Stan Tech gets baited. Probably gonna spend 100 meter here to get the Blood Prison. There we go. Double bomb. Alright, time to... Back focus. Time to apply pressure. Yep. Even though you chain shift, you still have to deal with the pinwheel coming out there. Overhead gets blocked. Tennyson trying to take the turn back. Calamity dashes up. EX pinwheel. Oh my goodness. Woo! Scary. Oh my god. Oh! The pinwheel right behind. And it's the throw to tie it up. It's still set point for Tannison here, and especially going into this potential last round with 200, but all right, that's good. Stop the momentum here for Calamity. All right, MC confirm. All right, just yep, takes the damage with the EX Buster. Push all the way to the corner. Double double circle keeps him really close. Yep. Ooh, that's C. Ooh. Oh, where are you going? And charge MC back to the ground. Yeah, the jump back aerial to catch out that jump. You thought you could try and escape the corner, but once again, ending it, the double circle. CS yes, still available here. Should be able to kill with all the meter in the world here for Tannison. Ooh, ah, oh, spike ball. drop. Yeah. Oh, big rock coming through. That's a wall's force function. But yeah, Tannison, massive life lead. Doesn't really have much to worry about, but it is Carmine. The e EX Carmine is unlocked, but might not matter, especially with that, that EX clap coming through. Unlocked and relocked. Sent down to the loser's side. 2 0 for Tannison. We're gonna down back to the Byakia dash B, because one's a low, the another's the, the laser, but uh, they're probably just trying to switch up their round starts here. Mm -hmm. Okay, walk back. Nothing caught by the needle. Just playing it super safe here for Big Black while we wait for some meter to build back up. Alright, Big Black not walking back too much. Wants to walk forward, get some grid, try to win the cycle. Oh, there's Ooh. a shield from Masoma. He gets the cycle, but he gets tagged by Dash C. Alright, time to hold this corner. Got the grid, but at what cost? Now back up against the wall here. Hit 100 meter for the web setup if we choose to. Now just walk back in the CS. Alright, Masoma takes his turn back. Dash B. Yeah, it's pinwheel. Aw, oh, delay overhead jump B. That's very hard to fight because. You're trying to expect the low, the throw. Oh, big black chain shift. Ex Freka, and there's a flash here from Asoma. Yeah, we're just letting all the reversals rock here right at the end of the cycle. Big black able to seal it. 100 meter about to be in tow here. Yeah, Masoma, not a lot of health left either. All right, it's green web setup. It's okay. Just trying to get this knockdown to get the W. There's the throw reject miss. So, uh. Yes, if you throw too early in a throw animation, you are locked out, you're not allowed to attack the grab. So that's kind of something you have to uh, notice if you see them flash red, even if they flash yellow. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There we go, caught up in the corner once again, full meter for Masoma. Seals out the cycle too. Sheesh, big damage, all right. Time to, time to start blocking. There's a shield, rolls away from the Kuan mix-up. Masoma looked like he, he tried to delay it, but uh, he manages to get a 2P starter regardless, and that should be round two, nice and easy, no meter spent. Yeah, caught out with the slide. Didn't quite catch off of the CS, but all good. Still able to bring it back. Now we're round number three. Trying to seal out this first game. Full meter on both sides, too. Yes. Essentially, Biakia's win condition is get any clean hit now. And just like that, Kuan's win condition is about to be met. Should spend 100 meter into the... Ping, yep, there's 100 meter, knockdown, charge pitwheel, float mix up, gets shielded away, but yep. Soma still keeps Big Black near the corner. Yeah, the float back. We're seeing a lot of 3D coming out from uh, Big Black to try and escape a lot of these disc mix ups, so just saying, alright, I'm good, let me space you out. Let me see, has to go for the air shield, that's a big punish on the jump in. Alright, gonna get the side switch, probably spend 100 meter here, go yep. for the triple web setup if he doesn't mess anything up. One, two, three, nice and easy. Alright, time to block, sir. And, yep, and it's a little red web, but still gets caught out with the assault. Full punish here for Big Black. All right, gonna spin another hundred. Same situation. Oh, doesn't decide to spin a hundred. Throw back into the web. All right, so this is a hard situation because uh, throw into web does scale the combo pretty hard. So let's see if he yeah. decides to spin any meter. Oh, he's gonna try. There's a go. He's gonna spin another hundred. He's gonna IW most likely here, and I'm gonna say that's enough. Yeah, the minimum scaling, I think, saves us in this one. Definitely close, like you said, off of such a uh, strong initial scaling. But still, with all that meter in the bank, CS as well with grid two, you know, Big Black able to seal out that first game. All right. 
So uh, that that game one was very close for Masoma up until he got caught by Big Black. Kind of just got looped into the corner off of two bad situations, which is mm. kind of what Biaki does to you. He'll either find some hit uh, that leads into him spending 100 meter, or yeah. he'll set up a web throw you into the lab and just kind of loop that whole situation again. Once you got the meter behind it off of that knockdown, especially in the corner, right? It can, uh, you know, really turn the tides even if Big Black is low on the HP. But speaking of losing that first interaction here, Masoma gets the first hit for the corner. All right, Big Black, small shield there. Oh, 2B gets assaulted over. Small combo. All right, so Masoma has pretty substantial life lead. There's the teleport into the sliding low. So Big Black should get another turn here, but he doesn't really have that much meter to work with. Yep. AB Ender trying to get the Oki. Caught out with the counter hit frame trap for the first round. Masoma, okay. Yeah, uh, you, you saw Masoma do 5A, 5C look like. He tried to catch Big Black's throw timing there and he got it. Yeah. Oh, the max range 2C gets whiff punished by laser. Full confirm from Masoma once again. Yep, killer EX disc. Set on top so you can't go for any rising JA shenanigans. Has to hold this. Alright, there's the meter span to keep him locked down. Oh god. Ooh, it's an overhead, gets defended against, but uh, Big Black still gets clipped afterwards. Ooh. He has Celestial, so it's not too bad for him. Oh no, this is how it starts. That yeah, wasn't too bad, but now it's looking real rough for Masoma. 200 meter for Big Black, and with all the meter in tow from that Celestial, right? Even if you cash out, you still have more off the chain shift ready. Alright, decides to spend 100. Still has Celestial, still getting the 20% damage bonus. And I don't know if this kills, even if he spends everything, so maybe he'll keep it safe, but we'll see what he decides to do. Oh no, he's gonna go for the kill here. Alright, there's the heal activation. Spend 100. Oh yeah, that's enough. If he gets it. Okay, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, we're waiting it out quite some time, you know, Big Black. We're we're cutting it close here. But there we go. Let the full IWEX rock. We're tied up here. That's gonna bring Big Black over to set point. Yes, even even though that was off a throw, it, it's still one of those things where having Celestial, having Veil off mid combo yeah. with all that meter, kind of kind of solidifies your W in that situation. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Cut out, going to the corner once again. Yeah, well placed shield swings the grid right back. All right, this chain shift, trying to whip punish something on the chain shift, doesn't get anything. Trying to maintain space mid screen. He gets hit by laser, doesn't. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Punish shield. Stand shield a little bit too late on the 2A, sees the red miss. Yeah, you're stuck up in the corner anyway. Ooh, I think B Black tried to swing after shielding that jump 6C, but it, it's 2 plus at that point. All right. Gotta go for another knock. Oh, doesn't get the knockdown. Back mid screen. Oh boy. Oh, he was close enough for the slide to hit after the laser pillar. Mm -hmm. Full confirm off of the needle. Brings us to game number three here. Okay, okay. All right, so Big Black had like one or two small mistakes. You know, it, it happens. He he tried to swing after shielding uh, a jump in that he would normally be able to swing on in some situations. Yeah. But uh, I guess he assumed it was jump C or jump A, but it was jump 6C from, for Kulon. A little harder to shield swing against. But let's see how he adapts here. Oh. Yeah, once again, so many times Masoma playing aggressive off of the round start says, all right, yeah, I got no reversal to have to worry about. A lot of the time you've been doing, uh, you know, walk back. I can just push you over to the corner. Best case, I get the hit. Best case, I get a second interaction here, building up so much meter for Masoma and seals out the cycle too. All right, tries to roll out, gets away, tries to throw on the throw with. Throw with is plus, and it looks like Masoma is just going. Yeah, he's going to change up to get some meter. Yep, secure the round. Very nice. Damn, clean with the perfect two, says. All right, I got the momentum from that last game. Let's see if we can seal it out here. Set point for Masoma. Dash of four throw. Big black, all oh, stand tech. Gets with punished. He's, he's eating two throws and already lost a third of his life. Oh, the trade, yeah, right. no combo. Oh, tried to go for the shield to swing it back to get the full confirm, but still CS and the cycle for Big Black. 200 meter, bring us over to the corner for some triple wag Oki. Let's see if he decides to go for it. Yeah, there we go. He's the last bounce there. So it's a three. Now Masoma has to defend. He has meter, no TRM. He waited out. Oh, assaults over the 5A. That's the one downside that I guess Byaku's 5A has. It doesn't really hit everything above him. Right. 
Yeah, float back. Maybe trying to catch out a 3D. Alright. The Soma probably gonna. Yep, there's a change shot the laser. Oh, the dash has a dead zone, but he didn't combo. Chance? Oh, flash kick, not dead. Oi, command grab after the CS. Very smart from Big Black. Make sure that if uh, Misoma tries to do a 5A or a throw, it gets hit by the command grab. And we have chance. Yep. Yeah, it's still scary. Any good mash on out. Seals out the set, but there we go. We're with. All right, that was very tricky from Big Black. He had a website up there, tried to see if Misoma would mash. He did, and he got counter hit out. All right, now we're on final game, final round. You're trying to make our way to winner's finals. Dash up. Try right, and see what we can get off the needle. Nothing found. Big Black trying to go for the counter poke. Dash C. Still. So scary. All right, this is CS. Just trying to keep this almost stuck in the corner. Assault jump seed, no combo, but still in the corner. That's what you want. Oh, God. No green shield. Counter hit. Doesn't block the overhead. I'm lucky. Nope. All right. Time to eat another web setup. Yeah, still clean on the cycle as well. Even if we charge, might be able to get Celestial. Might not need it, though, especially with all this meter caught out with the counter hit overhead. All right, he's not dead. Has to eat one last setup. Oh, small botch there, but the web will cover it. Unfortunately, Big Black's backs to the corner. Not a TRM on that throw. So Masoma gets a chance. He's going to have to apply pressure, not mess up anything. There's a shield. Oh, Big Black tries to swing after that same interaction once again. Yeah, you're going to need two or three good hits. You know, even with the meter behind it and the CS, the Vorpal damage bonus. I need a couple more openings, but there we go. A grid break overhead is a good start. Uh, Big Black tried to shield low. Gets clipped by the overhead. All right, last chance incoming. Oh, there's a slide. There's the VO. There's the VO. Gets him off. Oh, my. Oh, we on through. Big Black in the VO says, I'm good. Let me. Let the super rock. It's 2-1 to move on into winner's finals. I know you're not super comfortable with this character. Maybe it's, you know, more even or even a worse matchup for me. But if I know that it plays into your tendencies, we're all good. But it is going to be the Wald versus Carmine here for top eight winners. All right, so pressure overhead. Ugh, and a grid break, too. You were shielding low. You got to be careful when you're shielding uh, a lot of characters in this game. They have tricky overheads, tricky lows in their block rings. Yep. Alright, bomb No, SPD right through. Alright, back to mid-screen. Tennyson's gonna take that every day. Doesn't have to worry about all oh, the overhead hitting, unfortunately. Yep. Right behind. And you can see Tennyson, yep, dash up 2B. 2B goes really far for Wallstein, even though it's kinda slow, it's necessary to catch people walking back. Alright, more more wall pressure. Defiant has low HP, especially not after not winning that cycle. Oh god. Ooh. Cross up jump C. Tennis and holding down back. Clean defense. Oh, moved a little bit too early, but it's alright. Oh, no assaults. Tennis and probably looking for assault forward body splash. Not anymore, because he doesn't have the cycle. Yep. No cycle, but we do have the raid. Boston Blue Beat stopping on by with the 50. What's good? What's popping, gamers? You made it just in time for top eight winners. First round over here. Trying to get something off of the run up. Blood Rain. I, I assume what we're looking for is there like a throw bait or, uh, you know, a mash bait as well to just go right on over. First round to Defi. All right, so Tennyson probably flinched in that live, last interaction. Got clips. Oh, he got hit by the 2-2 two -two puddle. Uh, the counter version of that gives Carmen enough time to dash up to get a confirm like you see here. Double bomb set up. Alright, it's time to block. One bomb. There it goes. <laughs> oh. oh! And Tennis is like, I've had enough of you jumping away from me. I'm gonna press the button. Yep. So surely you're not gonna do run up, jump back three times in a row. Hard call out with the uh, with the grab here. Now, puts Defi back up against the wall. Ooh. Ooh. Charge him C. Early jump C, no combo. Yep. Alright, blocks overhead. No CS. Yeah, Tennis is just gonna hold on to that, but the jump C stops at 360. Oh god, we're trading! Still up against the wall here, finds the shield. Still a decent amount of time in the cycle here. Nice counter. Alright, definitely has to be careful because 1A Buster might seal the round. <laughs> Assault Trophy Chain Shift. Oh, it shields the jump in again and gets the A Buster just to do enough damage. Just like you said, now we're heading into round number three. Set out the wheel immediately. Alright, clean dash up throw. Just push into the corner with the throw. Stan Tech gets assaulted over. Tennyson being a, a little scared, maybe, trying to stop Defi from applying so much pressure. Double bomb. No, one bomb. Just going to charge to get the cycle. Ooh. Yeah, maybe trying to get that Celestial, but just a little bit too far. All good, though. We get so much meter off of the chain ship. Now stuck up in the corner. Might we see a Blood Prison to try and seal this out off the next interaction? Nope. 
the X pinwheel. No, the mm. overhead does not get blocked. That should be game one. Yes, to Defiant. Very nice. Kind of... I saw Tanerson get opened up by the partial charge 6C into 2B, which is his overhead. You can charge the 6C, which turns into an overhead, but if you fake charge it and prey off yeah. the people's uh, recognition of the normal, they won't see the flash and they'll stand up too early and they'll get hit by the 2B, which is a low. So that's why Carmine's also scary, because if you're so used to seeing the overhead, if he fakes the overhead and then goes low, then you're like, wait a minute, why, why did I get conned here? What's going on? Exactly. Caught up for being too good and too reactive on the defense, right? And especially with the wheel, with the puddle right below you, it's so much visual noise that it's a lot to try and, uh, you know, hold on against. But game number two brought up against the corner once again. All right, so Tannison has a cycle, but he has to find a way to get out first before he can use it. Ugh. Even though he changed it, he still had to block that normal. Assault jump C. Oh, Ooh. he tried to 2C the uh, probably throw assault attempt, but he just gets yeah. hit normally. Oh, drop combo, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, A busted on your CS. Now we're trying to put a wall in between us, or rather a pinwheel. Body splash doesn't find too much. Oh, gets a counter hit mash. Defiant should win this cycle. There it is. Spends meter on blood range. Just trying to keep his turn. Mash up throw. Last interaction, maybe. Oi. With the air stall, ended up crossing up back throw to put us on set point here for Defiant. Ooh. <laughs> that's a that's a common interaction. Throw a pinwheel EXDP if they jump at you, but. Tennis is like, enough of that. Hold this EX360. Yep. And the leader might as well grabs right out of the 3D. Ooh, dash forward 5A. Side swapping coming. There we go. Oops. All right, so Tennyson has to hold, yep. Hold double bomb pressure, most likely. All right, pinwheel goes out. No, just waiting to release the bomb. One more down there. Hey. No combo, though. Didn't quite reach yet. Oops. Triple Assault, we want this cycle so bad. We want the bait so bad, 200 meter. Uh, AB under IW? No IW? Hmm. Oh, okay. Ugh. All right, chain shift nothing. Claw swipe, claw swipe again. Claw swipe again, air unblockable. Uh, the other reason why that move is so good for Wald is it's minus yeah. three. So almost nobody in the game can punish that other than Wald himself at rate, at a certain range. And then Deppie's just like, I'm gonna VO because that didn't happen. And then he got punished. That is what happens. Talking about the punishes, talking about the baits. VO goes unchecked. And now that's all that meter down the drain. Still solid on the cycle here for Tannison. All right, four B hits. Defiant probably trying to jump out. He gets one more chance after this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, plus way. All right, time to guess. Eight. Mm -hmm. Deppie, ooh, gets a clean 2C hit. Should side swap with the BBB command grab ender. Oh, oh. Right, the plus on whip right in front of your face, Tennyson. Once again, you know, it's like we saw with the partial charge 6C, just playing on your reaction, throw whip right in front, but just out of range. Now we're set up with the wheel. Bomb goes off, yep. The final was hoping for that. No more bombs left, but you still have to block Carmine pressure. MP. Ooh, blocks the fake overhead. Let's go. Oh, gets hit by the assault. Should be the round if the fight decides to spend IW, I think. Let's see. Yep, AB IW. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. I like Sunder. Should do a little bit more damage. All right, everybody. Will it kill? Oh my god, I'm actually surprised I killed him, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought there was a decent chunk of uh, health left, especially for Waldstein, right? I was like, okay, I get it. We increased the IW damage across the board in Uni 2, but I believe, unfortunately, the faith was not enough, and Tannison heads down into the loser's side, but Keep definitely... Like walking, jumping around the screen, dashing forward. Really? So, I was gonna say, you know, poop skin, I was like, huh, this kind of looks like a Dragon Ball skin. I see the display name, Sun Gridku. All right, I got you, I got you. Game number one here, Calamity trying to keep the pressure on. You know, we've, I've heard some rumblings about uh, Inkidu and this new 6FF, you know, the frame seven guard point here. Obviously not seeing it just yet, caught out with the 2B. Now we're stuck in the corner. All right, flashing red, rolls out the corner, parry backwards. All right, Poop doing uh, pretty well so far. Doesn't win the cycle, <laughs> but yeah, that, that, uh, that force function, pretty big. Oh, I tried to press the button again. Should be the end of the round, yes. But... Full shoulder take first round, yeah. That, that, that force function from Nikido is very tall, so you have to commit to flying away from it very quickly. You can't just, like, hover there. <laughs> uh, the funny thing about the IW, it's plus. So even, oh. even if you block it, you can't punish him. 
Yeah, there are a couple like that, right? You know, Lene, I think she has an interruptible gap, but you know, it's one of those knowledge check IWs. Is there a way to, you know, stop the plus frames there? Or is it once the animation goes out, you just gotta hold it for Inkidu? You gotta hold it because it turns into a projectile as well. So it is also a full screen projectile punish. I see, I see. Alright, Calamity doing better. Oh, Ooh. manages to get away from that throw. Dash of 5A punish on it. Might spend 100 meter on the Blood Prism here. There we go. Alright, double bomb. Get a little bit of grid. Alright, one bomb left. Doesn't get hit by the instant overhead, but the bomb setup still saves him. Overhead does not get blocked. Alright, let's see if Calamity can close this out. Alright, see, so you got 200 and the CS. Might as well get the IW. You get that meter back going into the next round here off of that entire animation. Now we're tied up on the rounds. Alright, so let's see if Poop can bring that rat. Like, yeah, because there's a couple of like small drops here and there. Probably wasn't sure what to do. Yep, yeah, once again, just letting it rip. And there you go. That's the answer I was waiting for. You can roll that on reaction to do nothing. Yeah, new option here, the 3D roll on through in Uni 2. Speaking of 2, we're sending the double bombs. Once again, get that focus to try and seal out this grid. Are you going to be greedy for a shield to try and take it back? No, instead, just gets caught up at the assault. Right, the overhead hits. Drop combo bomb still there, though. Doesn't block the overhead. And not looking too good for Poob. That should be the end of game one going over to Calamity. Nice and easy. And that's kind of how Carmine steamrolls you a little bit. You you get clipped by something, you're trying to get your bearings back, and then he puts you in the block string where he sets out a pinwheel, he sets down a bomb, and then yep. you have to guess between delayed overhead, immediate overhead, dash up throw, a staggered low. So it becomes kind of taxing to fight him sometimes, but yeah. that's what, if the meta, the quote unquote meta is gonna be fighting a bunch of Carmines, then you gotta learn how to fight him. There we go, fighting on through in game number two. We immediately take the opportunity to try and put some pressure on Calamity. Not going to get opened up that easy, though. Ooh. All right, force function confirmed from Calamity. Push the corner. Ooh, just got the 100 meter in time, sits on a bomb as well. Uh, Try to dash forward, but Poob gets clipped by the bomb detonation. Mm -hmm. All right. Double bomb, just waiting it out. The classic down back says, all right, I dare you. I'm good. I'm not going to try and be too crazy on the defense until we go for the run up here. He does not find what you need, though. All right, going to set up double bomb once again. And now that Calamity has chain shifts, the Carmine's offense becomes way scarier. Ooh, the bomb does not protect from the grid thrust. Cut out by the pinwheel on the way back. Nice. Sees the red, parries, gets gets the hit, but then Calamity is like, yeah, I know you're going to take your turn, so that's what I'm going to do, wake up the XDP. Yep. Alrighty, set point for Calamity. Let's see what we can do. Poop trying to play a little more defensive, but still gets caught on the low shield. Alright, grid broken. Oh, over get hit, gets hit. And the worst thing about being grid broken is that you actually, your meter gain is actually severely handicapped, so... Yeah. You can block as much as you want to. Even if you get a hit while you're grid broken, you won't get that much meter back either. Ooh. Overhead? Ooh. Mm, oh boy. That's been working out every time for Calamity, so why not do it? A third. There we go. All the meter in the world. CBO Super IW. I think that might scale it a little bit more, but it doesn't matter when you have such little health. Calamity moves on to Loser's Quarters 2 0. -oh. You can't let Mika overwhelm you because she's really fast and she can cover a lot of space. Right, game number one here for you to trying to get that space on in. Yeah, double rocket for the full punish. Luffle brings you back up to the corner. There's a clean punish on the on the on the rocket in with the shield. Luffle gets a small hit. It's about to get 100 meter. Ah, right, there we go. That's the tricky stuff from Luffle. Fajita either probably tried to match 5A there. Got hit by the uh, the down explosion. Oh no. Ooh. There we go. Fights back out of the corner here. About to win the cycle for it too. Full corner push, no meter to spin. Gonna take it down. Tornado chain shift, catches the roll with the forward throw. Right, it's time to pull up. Ah! Huh? Caught out with the IOX. Like you said, right? Luffle is not trying to hold this defense. Said, I got the 200 meter, I'm good. All right, that's not gonna kill, but next hit wins for Luffle. He gets a dash up throw, maybe. Oh, and the six force function. Good for catching back dashes. <clears throat> Tried to retreat, but you couldn't get enough space. The immediate jump on round star here. EX cancel. All right, so push all the way to the corner. Let's see if Luffle decides to wake up shield. Nope, just downs back. Oh, he tries to shield in that gap. And the Mika, the hop grab, good for blowing up people who like the shield. 
Oy. Hard to block there. You gotta correct your block in that situation. Yeah, that's evil to cross up right out of the corner. Especially because you had CS, you might as well go for it. You're safe either way. Now we're tied up on the rounds. All right, let's see if Lopal decides to take this guys immediately. Ooh, tries to, oh. punish, tries to catch the walk back with 2C. Ah, oh, that hits everybody at least once. That EX, yep. tornado, that EX missile can be changed in direction four different ways. So you got to be kind of careful about that. Ooh, uh -oh. That's super tricky. Just that's the VO rock, but we're twirling right on through. The roll escapes it. And now we go, go straight into the combo, trying to wait out this VO as long as we can. Hey, vanishes to get. I believe that was a 5A into a 5B starter for Lopal, so going to... Push to mid screen, try to chase with fireballs. A hey, dash C, dash B. Gonna get a confirm. Probably spend your EX guys in the ender here to also hold the cycle. Nope. CS. Hops right on over the 5A, no punish on it though. Alright, reckon nothing. Fahidi about to win this cycle. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, he's dead. Yeah, he's 200 meter in tow. IW? Just do IW, bro. There we go. Oh, okay, right. okay. Come on, bro. You gotta do all this. We could've just been moving on <laughs> to the next one. He's trying to stall us. He's trying to probably type in chat, I, I think. Maybe. Yeah, he's gonna drop his own emotes in chat real quick. But that's the first game. Over to Luffle. The full animation brings us to game number two. I just realized the in-game name, too. Takedo Twiddler. That, that's pretty good. We got the whole uh, the food-themed nicknames here. Heading into game number two. All right, Luffle did pretty well to reestablish himself in game two. Uh, game one, sorry, excuse me. That that went by so fast, I thought that was the second game already. Because we're just swinging at each other. Yeah, right? It was a uh, aggressive game on both sides, right? You know, not just this phone on, you know, take to the skies. You know, go for this back dash to try and keep you out at bay. No, we're we're slashing straight on through from the round start. Oh, yep. Phone on force function. Really good at hitting behind her and just vacuums you forward to her to get a proper confirm like so. That did yep. 4k almost, what? Okay. Oof. A decent amount of damage for this phone on champion. Still building up so much meter for it as well. Alright, Luffle with a small drop there. Ah, uh, custom Mary Mika hold up forward, do charge MC, get a big hit. That's how Mika's uh, adept at escaping the corner. Oof. Yeah, Nash on your chain chips just says, alright, I dare you. Try and put something out here. Nothing found off the fireballs though. Tornado, EX Missile, yeah. Doesn't get the proper shields, tries to mash after, it gets counter hit. And now, Fida Ida's about to get the next cycle. No, doesn't mm -hmm. keep it, but still keeping Luffle in the corner. Luffle trying to get out. Ooh! Yeah, right on over the blocks the VO as well. Fahita ready for it, says, I know you're not trying to block. Right. Up in the corner, oh, drops it though. He dropped his route. Okay, he doesn't get punished for that shield. Luffle still has a chance to win this. Oh my god, that was so scary. Yeah, the standstill Fajita just waiting for something. The rocket to the sky is caught out with the lasso. It didn't work the first time, so we do it another. Now Luffle on set point. Wait. All right. So, so Luffle with the advanced matchup knowledge using force function to keep Mika out of the sky. There's a tornado again. Yep. There's the beast cannon. Ooh. Ah, uh, gets go. hit by Can dash B. Yeah, yep. you try not to block low there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, if you shield the first uh, beast cannon, you can actually punish her. Oh, she lands like, right good. By, behind you like that. Yeah. The X guys are still text. Tries to tech on out of the corner here, but I like the backdash from Lupul to try and maintain that spacing. Alright, spend meter. Last chance for Fahita Eater here. Has to worry about the chain shift coming through. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, we get out the corner, but Luffle still pretty big advantage. Powers up. Yeah, I right, love the enhanced fireballs too. Ooh, so scary. Oh, really whips. Oh, uh, we're, we're about to blow meter. Yes, sir. Oh, but your mid screen, you didn't get the side swap, but it's okay. Time to chase. Yeah, we get another cycle for it as well. It's not quite celestial, but there we go. We find the tech CS to hold on. Yep, shields the dash bead to a proper punish. Please spend your meter. Don't be greedy. There we go. Alright. I was kind of worried that Fahita Ida did the wrong route, so uh, no drops here, but gets hit by hits a, gets hit by 5 BB. So combo gonna corner carry. There we go. Yeah, strong start from Luffle again. We're still on set point here. Fahita trying to tie it back up with the 200 meter, but gets caught out with the grid break. Hey, and there's a tornado. Just bust out. Alright, gonna get some good damage here. Ooh, just takes a small down. 5A. Oh, we got the mid-air confirmed. Let's go. 
Run up, bait out the VO. Once again, we're three for three on the blocks. Fajita, once again, knows you're not trying to hold on to that defense, but 200, you gotta hold this IW after the chip. No! Oh boy. Oh no, not like, wait, are you dead? Wait, not like this. Okay. Oh, he right. did IW. Okay, okay. Yeah, he ran out of meter just in time. Yep. Counter hit throw, dash B. Be careful with the meter. Good shield, scary. Oh my god, he blocked that, but yeah, you can't. Well, you can try to to swing after the shield dip, but it's a lot harder because you're pushed after green shield. Yeah, awkwardly spaced out there, so definitely off the scramble. Fajita feeling good, going into game number three. Final game for one of these players. All right, maybe maybe Luffle is... Uh, hopefully he learned from those last couple interactions to not swing right away. Maybe he needs a better shield, or maybe he just escapes back to mid-screen. But he's... He's actually handling this matchup a lot better than I thought, honestly. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. except right there. As we say, you know, the whip on the geyser immediately the rocket for Fajita. Ooh, all right. Activate screen. Tick throw. Ooh, I'll be a little bit careful about these shields, but he even manages to get the cycle. Yep. Takes his turn back with the 5A right away. Oh, he got bonked. Solid jump in. That whip not going to find anything here. Fajita has your back up against the wall once again for another focus. Oh. Huh? Oh. He, he, he did dash up throw with and uh, Ruffle tried to mash, but as we all know, throw with is plus. So if you if you try to mash on the throw with, you're going to get counter hit. <laughs> and now it's set point for Fajita, but gets caught out of the EX here. Close to the install. They are really trying to keep you at bay here. No, no, no. You've made your way in too many times. Stuck up against the corner. 3D, but still doesn't cross through Luffle. Luffle keeping his pressure. He has to worry about Fajita getting the cycle. But I guess he's okay handing it over. Not anymore since he got hit. So now he's gonna hold a little bit of extra damage. Ooh, immediate 20 0 change shift. Keep him locked down. Doesn't block the VO that time. Yep. First one that we've seen work out for Luffle here, but still, uphill battle trying to find anything to do. No! Gets caught with the counter. What? He, he might have dropped his input for like Geyser or IW. So you kind of take that. You didn't die from. Him. Oh my. Alright. He tried a green shield. He tried to shield, but he got he got yoinked up. Yep. Ooh. Is he dead? Oh, we'll do the rest of the VO for all the meter you need. Fajita sends Lufal out 2-1 to move on. It looks, no it looks structured, and there's an idea of like how he wanted to apply pressure, how to try to chase Luffle. But uh, Calamity kind of is just like, wouldn't it be funny if this happened? So we'll see if that's what happens here. Mm -hmm. Right, looking for the funny finds the hit. Against the wall. All right, Mika pressure. Misoma trying to get out. Yep, trying to use chain shift to keep distance, get back to mid screen safely. Oh, tried to shield swing, but uh, Misoma keeps his turn. Probably gonna spend 100. Mi no, we drop combos. Oh yeah. Double needle. Let's see if we can try and catch out a rocket here from the mid screen. No, we're just seeing some dash blocks to try and seal out this cycle. Grid break throw from Calamity, but still gets caught out with AD PCS or EX rather. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful if you knock down Masoma because he'll take the chance to do a flash kick in this EX pinwheel and he gets a yep. float 2B after that situation and ends the round. Yeah, so the ADP doesn't have the invul right, but it does catch out, you know, run up assault. If you're trying to bait out a throw as well, you know, it has quite the vertical reach. And we've been seeing Calamity try and take to the skies with this Mika as well. So I'd be looking to try and catch that out. Speaking of, run up assault from Asoma finds the hit here. Spend meter. There we go. Get the knockdown. Charge. No, oh, there's the normal pinwheel. Doesn't get it confirmed after the 5A. Calamity just holding down back, trying to wait for his turn. He won't get. He might not get the cycle if he keeps whiffing a lot of these green shields. Oh, but he got a lot of grid back for that. He gets hit by float jump B jump C. Yeah, still seals out the cycle for you off of the grid that you got back from the roll, but still barely any HP to your name. You have CS, but how is it going to help you escape against full health Masoma? Ooh, that was a clean pickup with the. He, he did 5B, slight wait, and I think he double he double tapped 5C to make sure we confirm there. Ooh, okay. Yeah, off of the airborne hit, right? You know, took the skies and caught it out of the jump. So great adjustment there from Masoma to put the first game on the board. So Calamity probably trying to figure out, do I stay with Mika? Do I Carmine? Hilda. Oh, yeah. Oh. He, he, yeah, he plays, he plays quite a bit of characters, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I... I don't think it's that strong for him, but maybe he's been uh, practicing some secret tech I haven't seen in a bit.
Yeah, let's see it. Hilda. You know, again, not one of these characters that we see super often, even in the new version. You know, we have Rinala, we have Lo representing it as well, but Calamity trying to show us some Hilda here for the top eight game number two. All right, so, oh, well, not a good start hitting, getting hit by Jump 6C. Really good start from Asoma. 5A stagger pressure, trying to see if Calamity mashes on anything. Also, Masoba has a cycle, so he can kind of just bully. Oh, he sees green, but too far to get the punish on the green shield. Gonna keep applying pressure, roll. Oh my Ooh. god, he actually got the hit. Yeah, roll through 5A. Yeah, just right past the disc as well, so didn't even have to worry about that lingering hitbox. Which Ben doesn't find too much, though. Ooh. Oh, oh, wait, what's happening? Masoba, you, you can't be throwing. Yo, Calamity kind of cooking right now. All right, set the gloom. Ooh, I saw that dash block. Oh, the 2B is too short and gets hit by Hilda's 2B. Uh-oh, overhead blocked. We're chilling, back spike, Roomba, yep. CS. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know, I was going to stay holding on strong to the defense, but there we go, caught out. Overhead. Yeah, he he tried to swing after blocking Hilda 2C, but it has another part by pressing C again, so he tried to swing uh -huh. But yeah. he manages to get the uh, laser pillar into the full confirm here. Snatch up into the corner. Set the disc. Float back. Ooh, just gets a clean dash up throw. Set charge pinwheel again. Immediate double overhead. Another throw. Just trying to see how Calamity tries to get out of pressure with shields. Not responding with throws. Are we do it again? Oh my god, he did it again. Yeah, we go for the high disc. Make it so that you can't do any Rising J AOS out of the corner. And also, that you're still able to pull up with the throw. Now, round number three. Playing it a little slower here. I say as Masoma runs full screen. Yeah, he tried to get that slide, but it didn't hit. Oh, yeah. no. Laser Pillar gets a small confirm. And standard Kuan pressure. Oh, we didn't tech that. You can actually tech that, but, you know, it's kind of hard when you're pressing buttons again after. Another yeah. counter hit. Not looking too good for Clammy. All right, Pillar EX running for the... Huh? TP okay. into the float down. There we go. You had all the meter for it, and you still have another 100. You do not need it, though, to send Calamity out of Loser's quarterfinals. That's Masoma. Moving on to Loser's semis. Kind of foreign. Because you're used to grapplers not flying across the screen at you. Yeah, exactly. He's a little bit slower, but he still does have that universal mechanic. Now we let the intros rock for game number one. Once again, Fajita versus Tennyson. All right, so Fajita being really dominant so far, just trying to make sure Tannison can't get a handle of what to do versus him. Oh, yeah, there's the 1A. No confirm. Now Tannison has a cycle, so it's a little scary for Fajita to confer to try to, yeah, do anything like that. Because you get to respond right away. All right, let's see if we go for the God Press Ender or if we go for a reset. Ooh, tries to chase attack. Bro. Oh. Okay, no punish off the throw with there. We're all good. Tannison still healthy on the HP. Back up against the corner with the CS. Oh, he actually didn't punish the tornado because he was in green shield, but it's okay. Hey, dash she whiff into command grab. That's classic. Change mm -hmm. shift to keep the combo going. Oh, decides to use the rest of that meter for the double circle to stay close after the 360 buster. Yep. Whew. Oh, just barely able to seal out the cycle with the walk forward. Yep. Oh, the assault forward. Yeah, at least it didn't grid break you, but it does side swap here. Vegeta, decent amount of health to work through, but not going to get the chance. Tannison with the claws seals out round number one. Yep, very strong. That uh, 6 2 3 move that uh, Walter has a claw swipe. Very good at anti airing yep. people, just like that 2 C we just saw. Uh -oh. Yep. Ooh. Oh, everybody gets hit by that. Hard to defend against. Going to get pushed all the way to the corner. Really, I'm getting hit, and so is Tannison up against the wall here. You know, about to have the CS available as well. Ooh, there's a roll. Escapes. So Peter going to try to apply pressure, try to catch a shield maybe. Yep. Tennyson. 5A. Yeah, Tennyson being kind of chill. Oh, he tried to counter poke with 4B. He gets hit by the XB's cannon. Time to hold this corner. There we go. CS available. Barely any help, though. You have 200 meter to try and bring it back, but I don't think Tennyson is going to go super crazy here. CS and Dunn. Yep. There's a green shield, trying to win the cycle. There's a trade. The walk back from Fihia loses them some grid. Gets Ooh. hit by 2B. All right, guard press. Gonna hold this corner real quick. All right, time to make this comeback. Yeah, find a spencer meter here. You still have CS to get a little bit back. No, yeah, triple rocket all the way across the sky. Said, nah, I'm good, bro. 
and then just beast cannon right back in on the whiff normal. Yep. Gets that round. So Fajita looking a little bit more confident so far. Oh god, that green shield's scary. Ooh. There you go, cannon right in your face. Running for the throw. Ooh. Shields Ooh. the yep. Shields the beast cannon, gets the punish. Gonna try to keep Fajita in the corner. Alright, there's the DX. Attack on some more damage. Uh yeet. Ooh. Scooped up out of the jump here. Cannot escape for Fajita. Last chance. Oh, tries to jump, gets hit by 5A. That should be game number one. Please don't drop this. Ooh, thank you. It scooped out of the sky. Didn't even need to use the meter in the bank. Tannison up one game. And it looked like Tannison was pretty, pretty content with uh, chilling that last round because yeah. it looked like round two, he was probably swinging a little bit more than he normally would be. But he was. it was probably just to get a read on some habits that Fajita was doing mid-screen. Yeah. Just to try and get the download here, get a little bit more data, and now feeling super confident going into game number two. Whew. All right. That small hop lets Mika go over some attacks and also tag you at the same time. Probably trying to see if Tannison would do it 2B. But gets a hit anyway after all that. Oops. All right, throw in the corner. No, you tried to shield to win the cycle. And now you're grid broken. Now you're gonna gain no meter. You're gonna block all this meter pressure. You have no shields. Oh, it's back now though. Ooh. No meter, no resources, but you do get the punish on the rocket through. Here we go. go for reset. Tornado, beast cannon. We block those, but you're still in the corner. But now you have the yep. cycle, so you can, you know, see red. Oh no. my God, Ooh. please. You just got that. You had the cycle, and for what? Lost it off of the grid break throw. One more, putting you in throw range as well. But there we go, finally the tech. Tannison runs up for the back throw. Oh, Ooh. she's the green shield. 360. All right, going to get a ton of damage here because he's still getting the Vorpal State. Also, when you grid broken, you take 10% more damage. Yep. Mmm. The double circle, going to be really close afterwards. Oh, boy. Scary. Yeah, jump right Ooh. in. Waits out the 3D, but still... A little bit too far out to try and get something off if it didn't react in time. Drop kick. Oh, green shield. He's red. Oh my god, the <laughs> A boss there. Oh, I can't tell if that was a bait or not. If he was intentionally doing that. Hard to tell, but off of the scramble, still able to seal out that round. It's set point for Tannison here. Fajita, this could be your last chance to try and bring it back. Steer Ender. All right, Fajita trying to not. Oh, get contested. Jumping out the corner. Gets clapped by Jump C. All right. Fajita, Tornado, Beast Cannon, stays in front. Yep. Ooh, she's red. Oh, but no A-Buster. Alright, Tannison trying to stay safe. Trying to, oh no, not get grid broken like right there. <laughs> Wake up Dash C, oh my goodness. There's the oh VL, god. oh god. <sighs> Don't get grabbed. Oh my no! The 360 C to celebrate the spooky rate of 360. The rest of the veil off just chilling. Tannison takes it 2 0 over Fajita Ida. Sun, hits all the way down to the ground. But Byakia, his big presence is his big normals, like you just saw there. But Defiant just going right in. There we go. Go back. Go for a little stagger pressure here. Big Black, you know, we see him playing so defensively, I say, you know, as we get caught out with the 5A on the assault. Okay, a little tech out here, CS. Yeah. So, Big Black has a cycle. Just gonna chill, trying to maintain the cycle for the next one again. But I'm pretty sure Defiant's okay with keeping Big Black in the corner. He gets a cycle again. Oh, wow. Dash block, very clean. And now he's assuredly gonna lose this cycle, but Defiant's just willing to, like, dash block, try to get his turn back. We're trying to get that sub back. Durder with the 10 months. Thank you very much for the support. There we go. Trying to find some support, some shields, and some dash blocks here. To try and seal out another cycle, but trying to catch out an assault over maybe with the EX projectiles right behind. Either way, you get the plus frames over to the corner. All right, there's the grid thrust to keep Big Black in the corner. Definitely gets a dash of 2A confirmed. Doesn't have any meter to spend, but still 3K is nothing to laugh at. Oh, there's the green shield on the double overhead attempts. Yep. And uh, standard Akatsuki pressure, counter hit fireball. That should be the end of this round. Nice and easy. There we go. Keep it clean. Defined with that first round. Yeah, off the grid break. How are you supposed to try and escape? You could try and gamble with the reversal on Alpha. Big Black just saving the 200 for round number two. If he gets managed to get a hit, he can side swap, put Defi in the corner with the web setup. But Defi right now, unrelenting pressure, just jumps right in, gets a hit. Should spend 100 meter. There we go. Yep. Fireball. Doesn't get the air throw in there, and this is really bad now. 
Alright, oh, Arthur no. with the single. Ooh, we took those. But you have to yep. be careful. Ooh, no EX Rekka through that. Probably worried about Defiant going with EX DP and back, but chain shift afterwards gets a hit. Air hit 5B, nothing. Ooh. Okay, swing the 5A into the shield. A little bit of grid here for Defiant. Ooh. <laughs> They're just dashing at each other menacingly, like, please do something delayed so I can counter hit you. But exactly, especially towards the end of the cycle here. There we go, finally seeing the reversal from Big Black. Ooh, the dash forward gets under the assault. Big Black has a slight life deficit. It's going to be a big life deficit because the fight should AB Ender, IW, Ooh. nice and easy. Keep it easy, steer Ender into the IW to make sure you have the kill, and that's game one. Over to Defiant. So Defiant looking pretty strong so far. This could be them seeing that uh, Salty implemented something that, that they think is going to be strong versus Big Block. Yeah. Because uh, at first glance, you look at the Koski and you're like, what does this character do versus someone like Byakia? But the way Defiant is playing is giving him a big advantage so far, able to counter poke, able to slowly push Big Block towards the corner. And then once you get that, you know, counter hit 2C like right there, just all of a sudden in big command, but you don't have the cycle after all that. Ooh. Oh my god, and like you mentioned before, right? The J6C just bringing us over from the top rope, avoids, I think it was a 5B attempt coming out from Big Black, but still stuck in the corner. All right, it's Fireball, just trying to keep Big Black down backing, no jumping for you. Yep. Ooh. Oh, this green shield's a little terrifying. There's the red miss, but Big Black doesn't swing on it. He's being patient, waiting for his turn, manages to get out the corner, and he gets a soul. Oh my god. You tried to go parry into the air web, but no, Big Black brings you right back down to Earth. Baits up the TP by accident, question mark, by landing on the other side. Uh, because it's winner's finals, we'll say it was on purpose. Like, like right uh -huh. that, like, like that one. You know, it was on purpose. It's, it's all planned. Alright, <clears throat> last chance for Deffy here. If he can't get out of his web setup. There's a parry, tries to press a button, gets hit by the up web. Oh, chain shift. <laughs> and, and the clean dash up throw. Yeah, we're seeing Deffy be uh, experimental, you know, on the defense, right? Trying to let the DP rock and then, you know, jump in for the parry, but see if we can try and get that offense started. Back though with the counter hit for Big Black. A ton of staggers coming out. <laughs> and then Deffy just does dash up 2B. Side switch, loses the cycle off that shield. Almost got the confirm, but it's okay. Gets a fourth throw. Oh god. Oh god. Walk up strike. There we go. Throw opens you up once again. See the red miss, and that's the immediate reversal. Right, small concentrate, tries to swing after, gets counter hit. You should be dead. I, oh, yeah. 100 meter? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. EXDP, you had Vorpal as well, so you get a little refund, a little mail in rebate heading into round number three. Chase oh. XD right on over the 2 2 series. All right, gets a, gets a knockdown. Gonna start pastoring Big Black with some throws, trying to see if he shields anything. That's two throws, already down to about 40%. Stan Tech gets baited. That should be the end of this game number two. ABIW, keep it clean, keep it simple. A quick two games for Defiant, but we still got at least one more here in the winner's finals. This could be Big Black just trying to get more games in, you know, loses three zeros, like, ah, it's whatever, I'll see you in grand finals. It could be one of those things, because a lot of players, a lot of top players that I know usually say like, oh, if I get down to losers, that just means I get to play more. And it's like, that's that's kind of scary to think about, because they're okay with losing because they know they'll just free it up next time. And there's a different character I wasn't expecting to see. Yeah, okay, so we have been seeing Big Black, you know, especially in some of these other online tournaments, you know, comes out with the uh, Surugi a lot in Aegis, right? But, you know, pulling up in TNS, third game of winner's finals here with a swap over to Surugi. I wonder what we're thinking here. I'm thinking the, the round start dash B because it goes really far, hits low really quickly, and can be special canceled to almost anything. It's like like that force function that has armor on anything that's not a low. Oh, big jump in. Big jump in again. Swaps it up, back up to the corner. Projectile CS count out with the frame trap. Yeah, Big Black trying to swing there. He talks to Ender. Oh, used up too many bounces so the X Fireball doesn't hit. Yep. Yeah, it's an unfortunate waste of meter there. Now we have CS available for Big Black. Ooh, shields to jump 6C. 5A confirmed, gonna push to the other corner. There we go, spend some meter as well, get some more damage. And try to win the cycle since you're mid screen. Oh, Ooh. but you get hit by the low. Oh, Ooh. clean air hit. There we go. CS available, just wait it out. 2A for 5A, do it again. 
Oh, tries to concentrate to win this next cycle, doesn't get it in time, Deffy gets it. Big Black stands up, eats the mid, eats the other mid, aye, we're surfing. Surfboard action for the full confirm here, over to the corner, do we go ABIW to try and out? No, it's okay, we just go for the corner knockdown. Oh, Big Black probably tried to do DP, maybe he didn't get the proper input, yeah. hard to tell. Yeah. Spend the full 200 in the corner, so... Now we're going to be on set point for Deppy because of it. 100 meter to both of their sides. All right, good. Be back in the push with 100 meter here. Uh, wake up, dash, block, gets around the assault. Back in the corner you go. You got to check those dash blocks on wake up. Yep, stick up a little leggy, just trying to see if Big Black's trying to go for a dash block of his own. CS on the Tatsu, no shield coming out here. Toast to respect. I'm surprised Big Black's not using Charge CC to get a guard point and blow through some of this pressure, but maybe he's scared of any counterplay that Deppy might have already. Yeah. Keeping it simple. Neutral jump, J6C, but still the 2 3 6 c coming out from Big Black from just so far. Oh, I was going to say over to the other side, but we tech back out mid screen. And DP after throw tech. Oh, it's still my turn, it's not yours. Oh, the EX gets eaten by the dash of 2A. All right, going to push the corner. You still have to worry about the, the chain shift, but it looks like Big Black gets the hit instead. Shouldn't build enough meter to kill, but he's going to try most likely. Yeah, just hold on to the CS, make sure we confirm that next cycle. CS available for Defiance, still trying to seal this one back out. Jump succeed, jump back, doesn't get contested. <laughs> uh, Duffy with the jump in, Big Block saw it too late. Tried to mash and got mashed on. If he loses his set, he might just make one and put it up tomorrow. Oh yeah, frame <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, just like, you know what, all right, I'm tired of losing this character. Here you go, everybody. Mm -hmm. For his reference and the rest of the peoples, tries to go for the round start assault, but Masoma immediately with the needle. All right, gonna push all the way to the corner. Tennyson does still have to worry about, you know, the standard corn pressure of float, float mix up and a lot of staggers. Yep. But he can still, oh my god, okay. Didn't try to 360 the slide there. <laughs> Masoma tried to press a button, he gets yoked up. Yeah, run up for the buster, three frames, it's too damn fast. And now we're back out to the mid screen here. Tennyson, so much grid. Yeah, Tennyson just trying to use the new wall move, the Earthquake, to stop Masoma full screen. He has to cycle, but yep. the Claw Swipe doesn't hit. Gets clipped by the X Pinwheel. Has to hold pressure now. He still has a cycle. There we go. 2C doesn't hit anything, but he's... Oh my... <laughs> B-Buster, half screen grab. Come over here. Reaches so far. Obviously a little bit slower, but for the range that you get, definitely a fine trade-off there. Now, Tennyson trading a lot of this HP to try and make his way on in. You gotta be careful of the needle. Yeah, Tennyson not... Doesn't want to get clipped by anything, because as soon as he gets hit, he dies, but he's doing his best so far. Oh, he tried to roll, and he got hit by the force function laser into the tornado. Mm -hmm. All right, first round here, over to Masoma, heading into round number two with 100. Oh, but caught out on the other side with the assault. Can't really get too much off it. Oh, God. Jump succeed, nothing. Fourth throw. Yep. All right. Masoma in the driver's seat, counter hit, no confirm. Tennyson manages to get his shield. Oh, my God, the 1A poke actually won him the cycle. There's a chain shift. Gonna get a little bit more damage. Maybe push Masoma into the, one of the corners. All right, swipe on through. Ex God press. There we go. Ooh. All right, five B. Trying to counter poke Masoma. There's the dash up assault to go over any throw or two A attempts like you saw there. Spend so much meter after two. Delay Full wake mix. up. Oh. He tried to use delay wake up to get out of the mix up, but Masoma just hovered for a little bit longer. Got a double overhead, and we run it again. No. Great recognition. Oh, okay. Back tap. <laughs> claw swipe hits. Another claw swipe. Oh, uh, Tennis. Off of the double shields too. Yeah, he tried to dash block, but he got clipped by the laser, unfortunately. And that's the biggest weakness Wald has versus a lot of these characters, is that his dash block is not good, but uh, his jump, the his ability to do jump assault is very strong, because the assault is like everybody else's. He just like yeah. flies at you pretty quickly. But... Uh, the jump startup is uh, another issue that he has, so he can get hit on jump startup. So he kind of has to pick his places very carefully. I see, I see. So, you know, relative to other grappler archetypes, it's like, oh, he actually has a decent amount of mobility, right? But still able to catch him out on the startup, you know, on some of these dash blocks as well. So game number two here. Let's see if Masoma can seal it out clean or if we get the tie up from Tennyson. All right, going to push all the way to the corner. Masoma being really aggressive. He doesn't want Tannison to get any ideas of, okay, I can counter poke. He gets hit by 2B. And Masoma looking good so far. He might get 100 meter. He does. He's going to spend 100 and get 25 back because of Warple. All right, time to block. 
Oi. <laughs> Teleport, slide, chain shifts. Get, we're gonna run this one more time, most likely. Ooh. Just concentration on the cycle. Yeah, oh, my. Go for the flow. Just run up, charge needle. Ooh, he went for the sneaky double right head setup again. Oh, dash up. Gets contested by the 360C. Look at how far this brings us out to the mid screen, too. Off of the reversal. Go for the whiff. Tries to catch out a shield, but instead, we were looking for the fuzzy 2A. Ooh, he got hit by the A flash against the EX pin, the EX pin wheel. Looks like Fantasy was a little bit too far, but now he's got to sharpen up because it's the last round for him if he can't seal it. Dash on through. Still meter for Tannison to try and look for a 360C, but especially with Masoma, you know, trying to look for that reversal option, stay for the float just a little bit longer. It's scary to try and let it rock. All right, there's the pinwheel. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It was just hovering there menacingly. Whew. All right, probably going to spend another 100. There we go. All right. Same mix. This is CS. Doesn't do A Buster. Masoma just approaching the big grapple with Dash of 5A. There's the VO. Whoop. No longer your turn. You can't block the mix-up. You get hit by the 2B, and that should be the end of this set. Masoma goes up 2-0. There we go. Moving on to face Big Black in the Losers Finals. But Tannison out at number four, repping the Waldstein gang. So again, congratulations on the run. He's still playing Sudoku. Okay, all right. You know what? All right, I'm, I'm going to let you take over here real quick. <laughs> yeah, we dash on through. We're saying, okay, maybe I need the shield against the, uh, against the needles here. Maybe we can force function through. Try and armor our way back in. A couple green shields coming out from Asoma. Bring out the needle, but no, it's the slide that makes our way in. All right, there's a chain shift. And then Masoma gets hit by Surugi 2A. is not a low, but it is five frames. So it's one of those buttons you can just mash on him. And there's the B flash kick. It's my turn. Trying to escape. Green shield runs up into the throw. Quick break from Masoma here. So much grid as well. All right, this is CS. Goes low, gets blocked. Big Black's defense is very strong. That's plus 10 on block. A flash kick. Yeah, there is a gap there you can mash on. So Big Black is ready. He's like, you know what? I'm going to use my extended 5B to get a clean hit. Push shoot to the corner. Ton of block. Oh, no combo off the two-way grab. Okay, just go with the single needle. Don't want to commit to the follow-up. Still gets caught out by the force function. We're kick flipping right on through. Oh, am I going to follow this first round after the CS? Yep. All right. Clean, clean stuff from Big Black, making sure he chain shifts to get some meter at the end of that and also dump the 100, and he also got the 25 back on that. Oh, Dash Up gets hit by Assault Jump C. Gonna push you all the way to the corner, gonna start dealing with pseudo deep pressure with his force function. Nope, Dash Up 5A2, right? Oh, the Soma's ready to press buttons. Yeah, greedy on the stagger after the 2A, so we're just mashing on through. Side swap from Asoma here with 100 meter behind it. You float back for the empty low very hard to fight it fight against because you there's so many options and most of them are really hard to react to oh my god that did so much thank you Warple. oh small botch no real combo from big black on there in that interaction just gonna keep holding down back there's a chain shift oh bust on out with the shield bash yep all right pick up off the dp once again 200 meter for big black still not gonna be able to kill even if you have oh no drop on the uh ex ender Oh, yes. yeah, he's, he should be dead. He should get a full confirm, yeah. It looked like Big Black whiffed the normal there and he got clips, unfortunately. Maybe he tried to do 2-3-6-C again. Okay. Hard to tell. Oh, God. We got trades. We got flash kicks. We got not blocking. Yeah, there we go. Off the scramble, right? DDP just says, all right, let me try and take control, but take control with the force function. Advancing on through with the armor once again. 200 meter. Yeah, should be able to win the cycle, too. All right, push the corner. He doesn't fall okay. for the frame trap there. Overhead gets blocked. Yep. Uh, decides to CS that, stay in, waiting for Misoma to press a button, but unfortunately it actually hits him instead of being a frame trap. Ooh, that looks awkward, but it's a side switch, so it's cool. It's okay. Bonk. All right, time to block. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we just hold down back. We're like, all right, I'm good. A shift. A flash kick. Yep. Pinwheel. Oh boy. All right, not dead, but you're going to have to hold some more pressure because you're in the corner. Oh, my man did CS jump to C. It's a good way to get out of throw attempts. Oh, give me that round. Thank you. Oh my god, off the Kirby down B, baits out the BDP. It's a game on the board here for Big Black. And I know a lot of people are like, what does this Surugi character do? And it's like, 
he, he actually has a lot of normals that are very hard to deal with. He has that uh, jump 2C, which just brings him straight down and kind of makes it awkward to fight against because you don't know which way he's going to be. Then he's got that normal, the dash B, that kind of just round start is hard to fight a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> That dash B is so scary, right? You know, it's like you were saying, the advancing low. Also, if you jump over it, sometimes you can actually get anti-aired off of the whiff follow-up. But there we go. Finds the counter hit 2A to bring us back once again. Right, that's 100 meter. Let's see if it decides to use any of it. No, it's going to take the knockdown. Ooh, text the yellow grab. There's a CS. Yeah, I'm going to keep my plus 7. That's mine, bro. There we go. The XDP for a strong ender over here in the corner. Hey. <laughs> Block the flash kick, big punish. All right, it looked yeah, like he someone was just... on BDP. Yeah, he was just like, you know what? If I die, I die. I'm just gonna send it real quick. Exactly. <laughs> Barely any health left anyway. You're like, all right, whatever. Let me just try and bring this back. But there we go, big black once again back to the corner. Sheesh. Yeah, Kuan, lowest life in the game. So combos like that kind of do almost half his life without thinking about it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Side switch, yes sir. Let's see if Misoma decides to spend 100. There he goes. Gonna get the knockdown, charge pinwheel. Ooh, waits oh, for a reversal. Wait something out, yeah. Oh, double overhead. Laser, no movement. Yeah, wait it oh, out towards the end of the cycle. Make sure you can't steal that grid back. Speaking of, steal the soul with the throw. Make it a, make it two. Oh, he tried to frame trap him there. All right, Big Black's trying to wait for his turn. He might bust out with the uh, EX, EX arm there. No TRM for you. I'm teching those. I'm teching those as well. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, shouldn't be the end of the round, most likely. Yeah, just trying to concentrate. <laughs> and Masoma's like, oh, I see you charge. I'm just going to hit you with 2B real quick. All right, tied up on the rounds here, says Big Black. No, no, no. You're not running away with this 2-0 just yet. Lots of meter for Masoma, but same can be said of Big Black. We immediately run in for the assault. Caught out with the low on the force function. Yeah, the armor not going to save you from the 2B. Ooh, the small walk forward, walk back, trying to bait a reversal. 5A stagger. Yep. Big Black's holding down back, trying to win this next cycle. What's happening? Help. Yep, so gonna pick up with the dash B. Gets you so much corner carry. Spin 100, push the corner, flash kick. There we go. Thank you, Red Mist. And now we're just gonna go back to zoning. Masoma pulls up instead. Doesn't cancel. That might not have been safe. Hard to tell. Yeah, right. Just empty 2B right in your face. But all right, slide to go right on over for the cross up. You, yeah, you floated in the air for so long. Maybe trying to look up for a throw whiff, and also thought we were gonna go for the empty. Huh? Oh, he <laughs> teleports. He he got he got away from the teleport slide mix up, but he needs to make a big comeback right now. What is going on? <laughs> All right, cross straights, one cycle. Big Black's grid broken, plus 10. There's another green shield, flash kick. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, Big Black tried to throw the green shield, but Masoma had chain shift during that time, so he got to. Yeah. He, he got green shield, chain shift, flash kick, saw the red, and just took the round. Yeah, otherwise would have been scarier, but you had the CS behind it just to make sure, you know, give yourself a little bit of time to assess the situation. And now we're tied up here, one apiece in losers' finals. Cool. So, uh, I'm actually very impressed with Big Black to see that his Sugugi is so practiced, but, you know, he's fighting against somebody who has been playing the character since he dropped day one, and it can be kind of hard to fight, as, as everybody can see, but Reversal DP getting his turn back, Reversal Flash hit getting his turn back. Here we go, run for the 2A, no confirm on the counter hit, just fine to go for the assault right after. Push the corner, gonna spend 100, get 25 of that back, real quick. All right, push into the pinwheel. Just trying to make sure that you seal out the cycle. No, but instead goes for the CS. Cycle goes to Big Black, but I mean, you barely have any health, right? Even off of the 2A, it should be more than enough to kill. Yeah, you saw the slow, small walk back from the Soma. Got Big yeah. Black trying to do stand tech, got hit by 2A. Oh my god. There's a flash kick, yep, don't assault at me. But drops to confirm. Big Black has corner positioning, we take the hit grab. Ooh, 2C doesn't get with punish. Scary. Oh, where are you going? Back in the corner once again. Should have float mix after. Hey, double overhead. It's a clean hit. There's a change shift. Misoma takes his turn back. Oh my. Assault forward. And he wants to cycle because he got the grab. Okay. 
There we go. No tick throw action here. Gold throw, no push ups. Oh, we're trying to. <laughs> I was scared we were going to anti-air off of the second hit of Dash B, but no, Masoma clean with the spacing, takes a second game. All right, he is up to one. Let's see if Big Black decides to switch. He, he's, he didn't immediately rematch, so he's, yeah. he's, he's thinking, he's like, that wasn't that great. Maybe I just want to play this character out, but it could just be one of those things where he has enough data, he'll switch back to his main character, and he'll figure out what he needs to do to win the next two games. Uh-huh. Ooh. And apparently the decision is to go back to the Biakia set. All right, there's, the Suruki got me the one game, but I'm not feeling it too much. So game number four, we're locked into the Biakia till the end of the set. All right, I, I have seen him make these comebacks. Big Black, uh, usually if he's at a disadvantage, he, you know, he locks in, manages to figure out what he needs to do, and he wins the sets, even though it'll be pretty close in some instances. <laughs> For, oh, slide right in your face. There you go, but Big Black doesn't respond quite in time. Alright, Masoma should win this. Oh my god, the concentrate from Big Black, but he gets hit by the assault. Jump 6C, e, full confirm from Masoma. Not gonna get the meter in time, just gonna dash up. Doesn't get anything off of the red miss. Okay, run up 5A, just trying to wait for something out here. Oh, he tried to mash in between. Unlucky. Gets hit by the Rekka. Should get a full corner push. Maybe spend 100 meter if he's close enough. All right, let's see. Nope, just takes the web knockdown. No flash kick. Masoma blocking it out. He has a cycle, so he might be really aggressive with the slide. Yep, there we go. Oh my god. Damn, caught on the other side here with the float mix. There you go. Still 100 for the EX Ender as well. Oof. All right. Knock down, pinwheel set up, hover, delay slide, gets blocked, chain shift to make it safe and keep your turn. Yeah. And now uh, Big Black just kind of chilling in the corner, not flinching, trying to win this next cycle. Oh my god. Ooh, oh no. Back throw. Oh no. Win Celestial, back dash away, gets clipped by 2B. He was trying too hard to bait too many buttons. Yeah, that's a heartbreaker there, right? You got the back throw off of the throw tech, and it could have been the end of the round, right? You know, or the comeback, rather, with the Celestial 200 meter, but Asoma still able to bring it back on set point as well, but 2-2-C, Big Black still fighting. All right, no conversion, but he's going to win the cycle as long as he doesn't get grid broken. There we go. Has chain shift available. He's gonna use it right away to keep pushing Masoma into the corner. Masoma up backs, doesn't get anything. And Big Black just like waiting for Masoma to whip something. Trying to get a 2C, yeah, web gone. Me. Yep. Oh god. He gets a cycle. Ooh, scary. Yep, a little focus in your face. Here's that CS. There we go. 2 2 C pick up into the dash. Mm, he wants he might not spend here, yeah, because he already spent the hundred and he baited the A flash kick. That's the benefit of having those webs. You don't have to actually hope that... As long as he does the A-flash kick, he'll always get punished. 5A. Yeah. Yeah, just but, off that last hit. You know, trying to stay optimal even at the 1 HP. Now, it's still set point for Masoma here, but Big Black coming in with 200 meter once again. So you can see Big Black just chilling. He's waiting for his turn. He might start getting uh, a little aggro. <laughs> Ooh. Unfortunately, he gets hit by the A-flash kick into the EX pinwheel. EX, there we go. Thank you, Rev Mist. Just one shield to try and seal out the grid here. He waits out the cycle. There we go! With Punish 2B. Yep, counter hit, slide. Gonna get a full confirm here, get a knockdown, get some meter refund. Time to run mix up, push into the pinwheel. Where is he going? Where is blood going? I mean, he's blue, so you can crit, but that's different. True. Slide yeah, we also got the blue 200 meter for Big Black. I mean, oh, fades the A flash kick. There we go. Tubi still able to pick up with the counter hit. Brings you all the way over to the corner. All right, so Big Black's going to spend meter. He should also win the cycle based off of his grid positioning. There we go. All right, Masoma gets one more chance. Doesn't fall for the throw bait or the flash kick. That web is gone. He's going to float away. Ooh. Scary, yeah, any pickup into the needle could do it, but so is the same for Dash B. Alright, he can do anything here to win, as long as it's nice and simple. Spend 100, there we go, now it's 2-2. Two to two. Alright, tied it up, heading into our final game of Losers Finals. The Sarugi got you the one match, but we had to go back to the main just to make sure. Now we're heading back on into it. All right, as you can all see, Big Black, is, he's, he's very focused so far. He's doing a lot more of his standard uh, 
create space, try to whiff punish something, and then try to see if Misoma bites on any of those daggers or try to win the cycle by shielding early and hopefully punishing those. Oh god, that's the... Mm -hmm. So far, just challenging at that range where you normally feel pretty safe about going about the needles. It is pretty, uh, you know, long in the startup though, so scary to do more than once. Ooh. Oh. Throw attack gets baited by the assault. Gonna get pushed into the corner. Most likely, Masuma's gonna spend 100 meters. No, he just takes positioning, gets a 2B on the roll after. Get a small knockdown and a side switch. Ooh. Set the disc. Lots of shields coming out here, but losing just as much health. Stuck up against the corner. ADP for the ender. And once again, we're on set point for Masoma. All right, big black. Yep. Going back to trying to slowly poke out Masoma. He gets a 2-2-C confirm, we're gonna push all the way over. He already uses 100 meters, so he's just gonna get a standard knockdown, set up a web as such. And, you know, just be patient, try to bleed Missile off the grid. Oh, but he presses a button and gets counter hit even though he won the cycle. I got some good screen here once again. So much meter behind it, yeah, so we just go into float mix. Oh, no, yeah, you saw the 100 meter for Big Black, so waiting out the reversal. Oh. Jumps to, jump to see baits the throw attempt. Oh god, they're right next to each other. Throw attack, oh. chain shift, they trade. They, oh, but Masoma comes out on top once again. This is gonna be really close. The IW, I don't know, it does quite a bit of damage. Even with the scaling, the magic disco ball sends Big Black out at number three. And Masoma is headed back into the grand final. Oh, that's just Masoma, it's fine, it's no problem. Yeah. All right, so round start, Define already getting away from the laser pillar setup, trying to be really aggressive, trying to get a clean hit. Oh god, the backdash, 5C punish, all right, gonna get a knockdown, so a full confirm from Asoma. Yep, stuck up against the wall, Big Black with the raid, just in time for grand finals, again, great work on number three, but oh my god, so much meter here for Masoma to set up that EX disc, once again, caught out with the float overhead. Looked like Defi tried to press buttons there, that's why he saw counter hit. Trying to maybe get out of that mix-up. Oh, Stan Tech gets punished. Yeah. All right, so what should be the end of this round? CS, gains a meter, and spends a meter. All right, on the board here. TP just goes right on past the roll. Oh, Saul gets clipped. No combo. I'm chilling. Definitely playing the dash block simulator. Oh, Salt jump C. Thank you, Havoc, for adding extra hit stun. Gonna push all the way to the corner. Ooh, doesn't get it confirmed, but back dash gets caught by A flash kick. A flash should go really big, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> and then Masoma just chain shift, presses 5A, gets a full yeah. confirm again, regardless. Ooh. Half on block, still safe though. Chilling, just trying to look for any opportunity to rock the guard point, but off the red miss. Tried to challenge now, stuck in the corner once again. That should be the end of game number one. Yeah, nice and easy. So it looks right, like Masoma is not too uh, worried about fighting Kidu. He's, he's probably seen this in Kidu and said like, all right, come on, Defi. Uh, like, you, you don't have anything new for me? This, that's just going to be a free game one, I guess. All right, and I don't know, maybe it could be a free game two if Defi isn't able to switch something up here with the Enkidu. Still rocking it for this next one, but I don't know, a lot of times, right? We're seeing a lot of uh, aggressive attempts to try and get out of the pressure that are constantly getting counter hit by Masoma. Yes, it is It is kind of hard to, uh, to, to concede to your opponent, like, okay, you know what, you got your turn. Sometimes you just have to say, screw it, it's not your turn, you're not... You, even though it's plus, it's not in my mind, I'm gonna swing anyway. Oh god! Alright, it's clean shield. <laughs> Dash of force function again, force function, parry, throws a low shield. Grid break, and Masoma tried to get out, and he gets reset, question mark? What happened there? <laughs> what happened? Off of the up kicks, okay. Seeming pretty dominant for Defiant here, but Masoma playing a little bit slower. Alright, is dash up throw, being more aggressive, trying to catch Defiant off guard with any shields or counter throws. More pressure. Defiant just holding down back, content with trying to win the cycle, but gives away some grid for the force function, but gets the 6F to hit this time, side so twitch. Oh, doesn't get the 5B. Oh, great thrust. Hold that. Yep, going for the staggers here right at the end of the cycle. Throw, able to seal it out for Masoma. Ooh. Yep, wake up EX counter, gets out of that pressure. 4C trade on the Havoc. Let's go. Thank you, Havoc. Gets a knockdown. No flash kick, trying to block it out. 
So Defiant just trying to keep this position to the lift. Oh, no, 5C too short. Ah, 5C yeah, not far enough. There we go. If it didn't work the first lap, do it again. You tried to make your advance, but now side swap TP into the corner once again. Down. This hover mix up incoming. No hover mix up blocks the EX counter reversal from the pinwheel. But the 2B punish. All right. Yeah, it looks like Masawa has an idea of how to fight this character. Yeah, feeling pretty comfortable going into the next round. Yup, needle EX cancel ready for the 6FF. Defiant not going to find a successful guard point here. All right, side swap into the other corner. Drops the drops the ender. Dash up third. Definitely not ready to tech. Oh, a high shield's a little bit scary, but no grid break there on the attempts. But someone yep. wins the cycle again. Just gonna poke away with Ooh. lasers. There we go. All right, you shouldn't die off this, but you, you're gonna be stuck in the corner versus the corn with a lot of resources. Oh, they have tried to go for the, you know, heavy float, maybe bait out a delayed throw tech, but still, guard thrust. Didn't get you out of the corner, though. All right, but this does. Ooh. Oh, wake up flash kick. Yeah, uh, Masoma reading that Daffy wants to be hyper aggressive at the end since he got the corner position in, and then since Masoma hasn't done the B flash kick yet, he was like, all right, you're probably expecting me to do A flash kick and you're going to hit me with something, so the B flash kick will get rid of that altogether. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you have so much health behind it, too. It's fine. You know, you're going to be taking 3, 4k off of the counter hit punish, but you still have a few more interactions to live. Might as well try and seal it out here. And Masoma trying to go for this 3-0 reset. Let's see if Defiant can stop you in your tracks with the Enkidu. All right, more Sagers coming through. Four throw once again. All right, Masoma trying to push. Yep, he gets another throw. So much damage already. Gonna win this cycle, maybe? Yeah, he does. He's sliding up great at the end, but he gets clipped by 2C. Full confirmed by Defi. Side swap. Oh, out with a berry. Green shield a little scary, but Defiant. Oh, was getting pressure, but then the dash up throw. Another dash up throw. No, getting pushed to the corner. Yeah, sometimes you gotta try for three. Be a little ambitious here, but Defi still runs you down into the corner. 200 meter available, so you can see ADP uh, EX. We're just trying to mash up with the 2A. All right, small shield. Decide to spend some meter to stay in. There's the red. Harry, mm. back down. Not enough to get the round. Nope. Mas oh, Masoma tried to mash. He got stomped on. Yeah, caught out with the counter hit stomp. Round on the board here for Defiant. Got to walk into the oh. needle. 6FF. All right, thank you very much. Going to corner carry. Maybe spend 100. There we go. Command grab ender. That does a lot. Go on a low HP, but the A flash kick into EX pinwheel. Gets Masoma out of jail and it confirms as well. Yep. So much corner carry. No pickup off the slide though, but it's all good. Still kept your pressure. I say as we do double 6 FF. Knocking on the doors here with the guard point. Alright, spends meter. EX record push the corner. 4C flash kick. Yep. Yeah, he's okay with taking that because Masoma doesn't have to cycle anymore. Oh, tries to roll <gasps> through the projectile, gets clipped. Oh god, CS. 6 and up again. 2B Ooh. clips whatever Defiant was trying to do. This could be the end of the round if Masoma gets a little bit more damage. AB Ender. Yeah, w I believes in it. Uh, I think it's a healthy boy. I think you live. Ikido is healthy. Oh, he's alive. I'm pretty sure he's alive. Oh my god, he died! Oh. Uh, I knew it would be close, but I really thought Enkidu plus, you know, a decent chunk of the HP would have lived, but now we're on reset point for Masoma. Punish? Hey, we take those. Masoma didn't get the full confirm. Drop combo leads to a combo for Defi. Alright, 2A stagger pressure. Masoma already trying to flash kick out, but he messed up the input. Ooh. Alright, Perry does bring you back out to mid screen, though. Damn! CS6FF, any guard point? Oh no, I don't think he wanted to do that flash kick after pressing the button, but no. you know, Defi def will take those. Gonna IW Ender? Yes, sir. Defi will definitely kill. Keep it simple immediately into the super. And that's a game on the board here for Defiant. Still needs to win two before Masoma wins one, but we're seeing some signs of life. It could be. Uh, well, one or two crucial drops from Masoma within that last round did help did assist uh defiant to you know get some hits get more corner push than he nor normally was in like the yeah the first half of this set but right now maybe defiant just wait was, was that seth yeah uh, oh yeah that's seth. interesting yeah, swap up okay 
he also has played Seth in ST and Clear, so this mm. should be no different from those. Uh, Seth got a couple of changes. He has a, he has two new moves. Uh, they kind of enhance his gameplay because he gets to cancel off of one of them and gets a big orb. So we'll see if that gets implemented. Okay, okay. And already, you're, you're seeing the high mobility of Seth being helpful with the Masoma getting it. Ooh. He just, he did that three times in a row. You know what? You know so that's what it means that's to be like a top six player. times three ff we're just you know representing strong options back to back is i suppose we can call it but we're also dropping the combo and once again six ff stabilizes the scramble right after the guard point keeping us alive bringing masoma at death's door oh the command grab with because defy did six six b which keeps uh and Kido airborne for a few frames so the command grab yep. does not hit so that was Actually ingenious from Defi in that last instance. Don't get hit by the orb though. Yeah, scary. All right, backdash 6FF. Let's just see, let's limit test here. See if uh, Masoma has an answer. And indeed we do pick up for the punish. All right, gets a knockdown, parry back in the corner. Has to worry about Masoma's chain shift ability. There it is, no punish though. And now Masoma's taken to the top of the skies where Kidu can't catch him. More pressure. Defi wins the cycle, this chain shift. I can't see where he is, and he gets hit by the orb for doing 2-2-C. Oh, no. There we go. Hold it down back. Hope that orb got me right after the guard point here. Now we're thrown back into the corner. All right, it's the ender. Orb set. Defi holding down back. 6-FF. Yup. Can't, can't cancel that on block, so he just gets hit by the orb afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh. Tries to go for a reset. Doesn't get oh. it. Oh, the roll oh. actually put you back into the corner. I wonder if we just wanted the low shield, but... What we're gonna get is a round for Masoma. All right, so Masoma using the counter teleport because Defi pressed the button. Oh, the 2-2-C hits Seth all the way at the top of the screen. Oh, we're just blowing meter. We're just flying around the screen and throwing away meter. Thank you, Havoc. The dive kick, scary. Whoa. Oh, no, tried to get him out of the air, but the dive kick actually keeps you spaced right out. Not a huge confirm here from Masoma, but does escape the corner. Oh my god, where is he? Oh, where is the orb <laughs> My man's is at the top of the screen shooting out orbs and blinking back up and down. All right. Yep. Oh, doesn't get the uh, axe kick ender. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Double up kicks. Out of yeah, the that, blink. Yep. that does a lot of damage. Doesn't get the 6 XC ender. Command grab, yep. New definitely will try to block during that chain shift. <gasps> uh, okay. Tech on out, 6FF. All right, back dash. Let's, let's try and slow it down a little bit here. I say as you get swiped out. All right, should be able to make this nice and easy. He's doing the whole hard combo, bro. Bro, please don't drop this. Thank you. <laughs> Masoma Cause... trying to show that we got it on the set, but what we do got is the reset. Reset the scores, put the L on Deppy's name, and we got another set on our hands. All right, so because it's a bracket reset, both players can change characters. You're not yep. stuck to the character that you picked in the, the end of like the last game of the set. So mm -hmm. let's see what both of them decide to go for. I'm, I'm expecting like maybe Carmine. No, that, that's maybe they want to do blind pick. Oh. Honestly, if I was playing both of these people, I'd be like, yo, just I'm going to blind pick versus you. I don't want to deal with this uh, musical characters. <laughs> All right, rocking it once again. First game of the reset. We are sticking with the Enkidu versus the set. All right, it, it probably is going to look similar to what we saw in the last round where there was kind of flying oh. around everywhere. Yep. Enkidu jump A get, hits both sides, gets rid of the orb. Yeah, we're just tossing out these low commit aerials to try and catch wherever Masoma ends up landing in the skies. You know, maybe not trying to land, but does get caught up with the counter hit. It's the Havoc Confirm, Knockdown, Charge 4C, don't jump, don't move, Red Miss, no meter to get a hit. There's someone trying to fly out, it sets an orb. Oh my, he just eats the elbow. Alright, here comes the side switch. Ooh. Small draw, we chill in, Force Function doesn't hit anything, there's someone being evasive once again, but he has a lot of health to make up. Oh, no cancer from Defi, gets punished. We need to drop a combos out here, folks. Oops. Oh. Set the orb, caught out of the air, but awkward confirm here, but we do get the pickup off the CS. Uh, I, I want to say that was a bait from Masoma, but I'll, I'll never know unless they actually tell me. Because it looked like he used the orb as a bait for Defi to get hit. Defi does wake up 5A again to get rid of the orb. There we go, yep. Defi gets the turn back. Just kind of chilling. Yep. Oh god. Oh lord. Alright, gonna... Spin 100? Spin 200. Alright, let's see if this gets a W. 
Does the IW get the W? Indeed it does. The minimum damage scaling still seals out the round. Got a little bit of meter back off the CS2. All right, Soul Jump he gets blocked. Masoma already commanding lead so far. Stagger pressure. Definitely not biting. Oh, it's it's strike throw time without the strikes. Yep. Ooh, jump on over. Kick finds the cross up. Four throw. Chilling. Masoma pressing a button gets counter hit. Oh my god. All right. Doesn't get the rest of the confirm, but still did 3K. Oh, thank you, 6F. Oh, he's dead. It hits so high. Any attempt at the jump out, you know, I'm sure if anyone could avoid it, it's Seth, but, you know, just trying to go for that single jump there does get brought back down to Earth. Gonna get a small knockdown, probably spin some meter, yes. Orb set up. Dash up tries to throw. Uh, definitely kind of chilling. Oh, there we go. Got your turn back. I'm trying to bait a reversal. No, no combo off the air hit. Ooh, Ooh, Twister catches out the dive here. Bring us to the corner. All right, let's see if we spend some meter. Nope, just going to take the knockdown. There's the wake up CS from Misomo. Doesn't. We're stuck in low shield. That charge 5C isn't overhead, so we'll really break you through low shield. All right, you might be dead. Yeah, you're dead. Hey. Break into the breakdown. That's a game one over to Deffy post reset. Whew. That was, that was kind of, kind of scrambly, a little scrambly, but you know. Uh, I feel like this is the level that they're going to be playing at. They're just like, all right, you're, my BS is going to be better than your BS. Yep. There we go. Heading into game number two. Again, we're still sticking on the Enkidu set. You know, regardless of whether or not we're feeling good matchup, bad matchup, I feel like these players are having a damn good time. Keeping the action going here. Caught out with a low. All right. So I'm uh, going to take this clean hit. Knockdown orb set. I'm going to be aggressive. Tries to assault. Definitely just rolls on out. Oh, yeah, there's the force function to stop uh, the air, Seth air movement. Push yep. the corner once again. Ugh, don't move. <laughs> but Masoma says, screw it, I'm pressing buttons. Down once again, EX Ender. Yeah, we have so much grid to try and secure this cycle, but you have a lot of time in it as well. Speaking of time on the orb to catch you out, trying to mash. Oh, dash of 5A stops Deffy from pressing a button. Misoma takes round number one. Both players have a lot of meters, so let's see if Deffy decides to... Nope, doesn't want to let any meter rip, just trying to catch Misoma safely. 6FF, oh. do it on the other side, doesn't matter! Oh my god, still caught up out of the dive. Alright, meter spin. Oh, doesn't get the command grab to hit, but it's okay. All good, still got a little bit of meter behind it. Alright, slow it down here, gentlemen. A force function once again for Deffy. Gonna get a nice confirm. Clean knockdown. Push. There we go. Deffy trying to win the cycle. Should get it. There we go. And the 5A air hit too. Might be able to kill too if they decide to spend meter. Yeah, there we go. I know you. Keep it clean. Don't worry about the meter. We got a little bit back off of the CS. Now we're tied up once again. All right, Masoma taking back this gun. He's trying to sit orb safely. But Deffy, yeah, there's a the, there's this small frame trap. Oh, Masoma was like, I've had enough. I'm going to reversal. But Deffy was like, what if I just ran up the block, bro? Haven't seen that option in quite some time here. But sometimes Deffy opting to take it a little bit slower. Caught up with the counter hit. Yeah, the force he the lean back. Catches Masoma pressing buttons. Going to spend some meter here. Oh, you're dead. Oh, my bad. You're just dead. Yeah, Seth also has, I think he has the second lowest health in the game. I might be mistaken, but uh, yeah, Enkidu does a lot of damage. Yeah, he's not a particularly tanky fella. And like you're saying, right, Enkidu, no slouch on the damage. And we're heading into game number three. If we keep this momentum up, it could be the 3-0 for Deffy post reset. But let's see. Oh, it's the lowest. Okay. Just straight up the lowest. Okay. Uh, so no. Today I learned. You're telling me Kuan has more health than Seth? That doesn't feel right. Yeah, right? All right. Dash on through once again. All right, gonna get a knockdown. Orb set up. Tries to roll out. Orb still there. Be careful. Don't get counter hit by it. Hey, Lamau. 6FF. That's so much damage, please. Oh! Ooh, tried the break dance, but get caught out on the toes. Once again, Deffy with the counter hit. Whew. All right, XDP. Yeah, sees red. Do the invincible reversal option. Oh, what if I did my own as well with a parry? Of course, he nothing. Go cancel. Gets punished. Yeah, you have to cancel that. 
if you don't get hit. Masoma might get 200. Let's see if he decides to spend it. No. Spends 100. He's going to set an orb, but you have to worry about the fine war pool. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. Arrow just goes right on through. Doesn't catch the air trajectory, but the air kicks catches you out. Now we're tournament point for Deffy. All right, so Deffy was just using the first set as a way to establish what to do versus <laughs> Seth. Oh my god. All right, six of half. Big damage. We're gonna spend 100? No, it's gonna get knocked down. Oh my god, he got hit by 4C again. Yeah, with a big counter hit on it too. 200 meters. Still not gonna be able to kill off this, but next hit is Gasper game. Yeah, IW just to get the guaranteed damage. That's 5k, my brother. Oh, <laughs> reverse the command grab. We have a chance. We're Small good, chance, we're good. Yeah. Alright, this is gonna scale pretty hard, but this only gets a setup after he gets this knockdown. There's the orb. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yes. Drop the combo, but there we go. We bring it back with the dive kick. Defiant seals it out 3-0 post reset on the Enkidu as your champion of tonight's Uni 2 over here at TNS.